Working hard, Steph. Was he sure I'd still have a job after last night? Yeah, well, you do for now. It's up to you whether you keep it. Will you be okay out there, Seb? Fine. I will. Ja, so. Това ми напомни за ония звица за работа, където го падна от скелето и умрял. Знаете ли го? Не, не, не. Отива един на небето и се ти пето му вика. Ей, поздравление. Поздравление за изживените 100 години. Ей, вика, ама аз съм само на 40. И се ти петър. Не. Не и според работните часове, които си вписал. О, са уфоне? Да, 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 това за джоб. Uh, maybe not right in this minute, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, what do you mean? Tell you later, if you're good. Now I can tell you already, Vita. I'm going to catch the skeleton back. Hey, you got something to say? Just say it to my face. Whoa, whoa. I'm English. Well, come on. I was telling them a joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you keep saying, well, let's hear it. After you apologize, maybe. What's going on? I've been laughing at me all morning. It's true. He's crazy. Now, why would you do that, eh? Well, why'd you think after yesterday? I was telling them a joke, nothing to do with him, right? Uh huh? Uh -huh. Then suddenly he's attacking me. Just get back to work, Seb. Go on. Right, get some dinner, lads. Seb, Anton, come here. Come on. This can't go on, lads. I want an apology. You've got to be joking. Alright, you should have been listening to me. You're both going to hold a bag of sand over your heads. First one to drop it apologises. And then we forget about it, okay? Fine by me? Me too. Alright, let's go. I hope I'm not going to miss my dinner. You won't. Don't let it go. Ah, a builder falls off some scaffolding and dies. That's why I couldn't tell Seb. He was up the scaffolding. Right, go on. All right, so a builder goes up to heaven mm. and St. Peter says, well done. Well done, I'll live into a hundred. And the guy says, but I'm only 40. St. Peter says, uh, no, not according to the timesheets you've put in down the years. <laughs> let me get you a drink, Sam. You told me to let it go. What? Side with him, make me look stupid. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm trying to clear the area. You've got it in for me. And we all know why. You just worried she was really flirting with me. Yeah, what's this? Listen, I know that I got it wrong yesterday, but you can hardly blame me for thinking it. You're always at each other's throats. I saw her that night coming out of Adam's. Even if nothing's happened yet, she's going to get with someone else eventually, and you're mad if you think otherwise. So just stop taking it out on me. Look, I know you must be embarrassed after yesterday. No, you're embarrassed because you think she's putting it about. Okay, I think you need to go away. To be fair, does it, Gary? Come yeah. off for a bit. It's for your own good. Hey, 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 none of that! You know, I have lost count of the chances that I have given you. First, you cost me business, and then you try it on with Sarah behind my sister's back. And now you're sulking like a five year old. I mean, no wonder they won't let you have the twins. Sid! Pack it in! You're fired. And this time I won't be asking you back. Yeah, sure, mate. You don't even have kebabs in Bulgaria, do you? What? When we were eating kebabs, you were still living in caves, man. Four big ones, chest, pal. Plenty of chili sauce, yeah? Yep, sure, I'll be right with you. Tell you what, I'm starving, me. Yeah, me too, man. Small chips just won't be enough tonight, would it? Nice, Seb. Hey, I got another one for you. Baby walks to the bar. That's
Come on, see my brother. And the brother says, How does he look like? <laughs> <laughs> You kidding, right? We'll take a look. Right, well, you do that, and after you finish whatever mess you've made, I suggest you get somebody who knows what they're doing. Hey, hold on, hold on. This is Phelan's fault, not mine. I told you the whole thing needs redoing. I am not interested in the whole thing. I am interested in the leak that's dripping into my coffee. Yeah, and I'm telling you, if you keep putting this off, you're just storing up problems. Oh, really? And this wouldn't happen to be anything to do with you wanting to earn yourself a bigger wage packet, would it? I'm not saying that I don't need the work. Listen, Gary, okay, maybe yes, in a week or two, all right? But right now, all I'm interested in is an office I don't have to snorkel in. Sure I have. No, she's just on my case again. Lost my man down after I sack said. I don't suppose you know anyone that knows what they're doing up there, do you? My mate, Jan. He's the best there is. Yeah, well, right now I'll settle for the quickest. But you tell him from me, he plays his cards right. Might be a nice little learner down the line, OK? I'll give him a call. Nice one. There you go. Thanks. You all right? I was. So my boyfriend tried to get jiggy with my brother's fiance. Seriously? <laughs> no wonder Sarah didn't want to go to your party. Yeah, you're right. I've been a total prat. I'm not surprised you've done that. Can I get you anything? Well, I'm not to make it all better. No. Of course not. Just, just thought it was the least I could do. Come on, please. Fine. Coffee then. Listen, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Look, just forget about it. I mean, it's not like we spent any time together anyway, is it? So it's hardly a surprise. I don't suppose that we could uh, still be mates. Got a nerve, haven't you? Maybe. If you buy me coffee every morning. <laughs> well, I mean, I would if it wasn't completely broke, Gary sacked it. And you did hit him. Well, I know that, but he's not so perfect either. I mean,. Why did he have to drop me in it over Sarah? He knew I was going to tell you. Well, he obviously was looking out for me, which is what you should have been doing. Yeah, well, the truth is, is that you're way too good for me anyway. So. You're just saying that. No, I'm not. Here you go, love. Uh, how, how much do I owe you? Well, seeing as it's for her, it's on the house. Thanks. Look, why don't you go and talk to Gary, explain how sorry you are? <laughs> well, that'll make a difference. Nah, no, I've blown it this time. Not if I'm with you. It's not like you've got anything to lose. Why would you want to do anything for me? I don't know. Must be stupid, I guess. <coughs> Gary? What the hell's he doing here? Before you go off on one, he's really sorry about what happened. Please, you just speak to him. And do you really think that I'd give him the time of day after he did this to me? He knows he screwed up. He's not a bad person. He just keeps making bad decisions. Yeah, and coming here was one of them, trust me. I knew this was stupid. No, Seb, wait. Please, Gary. He's already lost the Faye. twins. If he loses this, I'm scared. What's going to happen Faye. to him? Faye. I'm sorry, but it's too late. And what does that mean? Gary, this is Jan. Ah, uh, yeah, listen. Thank you for coming at such short notice, mate. All right. Sorry, who are you? Oh, sorry, Seb, didn't I say? This is, uh, this is Anton's mate, and he's your replacement. <laughs> Carla! So I've just hired a guy called Jan to replace Seb, and he's an experienced roofer, so whenever you're ready to crack on with that full roof job, we're ready to go. Is this ground dog there? Have you gone deaf? Oh, come on, I'm just... Just finish repairs you've already started and get your stuff out of my factory. Like I said. Ah, pint, young Sebastian. Yeah, just the half. Oh, a half pint for the half pint. <laughs> Watching the pennies. Oh, skin, so I'll get a job. Oh, I know that feeling. If you want my advice, it'd be don't be too proud to take help wherever it's offered. Oh. And try not to get into punch-ups with your old boss in the local. Oh, you heard about that? I did indeed. You got off lightly. Gary's ex-army. <clears throat> that one's on me. Oh. Cheers, mate. At least someone still knows how to treat the customers. Why? Well, 
I had a, uh, a free haircut at that new barber's. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking of going along myself. I'm considering a whole new look. Well, if Van Gogh's look you're after, then go ahead. Huh? David, yeah. His, his razor slipped. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. But anyway, the place was in chaos. Mm -hmm. Crikey. Mm. See? Told you, David's out of his depth. Yeah. They don't get their act together soon. That place is going to be out of business in no time. Red wine, please, Sean. Oh, wine for the winer. We'll buy us a pint now, Eileen. Oh, go on. He's made two halves last over two hours. Go on, then. Just cos you're unemployed doesn't mean you can spend all day sitting in pubs. Oh, that's quite a high horse that you're on there, Eileen. I caught him a pint, haven't I? Oh, hey, thanks. I'll be, I'll be back in a sec. I'm sorry that big job's not going to pan out as well. Uh, it's fine. Right. Two pints when you're ready, Sean, please, mate. No probs. All I'm saying is, just give Seb a break. Look, when you're down on your luck, sometimes it's nice to have a day off from worrying. Trust me. I know. Mm, maybe if I'd kept on your back, you wouldn't have ended up on the streets. I would know that voice anywhere. Do I know you? I found streetcars once, and after speaking to you, I've been a regular ever since. I want to use another cab company. Oh. Percival Street? Yeah, yeah, you sound familiar. So what's so special about streetcars? You. You make me laugh. I told my friends all about you. I call you the vinegar lady. Vinegar? Because you could pickle an onion with one of your put downs. Well, you know this is your boss, right? This is Jason's mum, Eileen, so she's in charge while he's overseas. Eileen, this is Jan. He's helping us out for a bit. You have a grown-up son? Two. And the father? <sighs> father is non-existent. You don't beat about the bush, does he? <laughs> Seven pound, please, Eileen. I'll get this. Mm -hmm. I have to keep the boss happy. Thanks. I'll tell you what, Vin Diesel the Weasel was an absolute lucky charm. Yeah, there. certainly saved the day. Uh, what about Audrey? Oh. oh, and the best grand in the world. Oh. Two lagers and a bottle of wine, please, Sean. Are you joining us, Gary? Uh, not so. You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry. Cheers. So you've sorted out your teething problems, then? Yeah, we have, thanks to Gran. No, no, stop it, stop it. Look, I would give up my last 2p before I see you two struggle. It took me two hours to realise there's no such a thing as a left-handed screwdriver. <laughs> Did you learn your lesson? <laughs> Only too well. <laughs> I better go work tomorrow. Can I buy a drink again some other time, soon? Uh, maybe. All right, otherwise I'll have to call that cab company again to keep speaking to you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what are these? Mm. Please, can we be loaded someday soon? That airbed is so uncomfortable. Yeah, tell me about it. You were so restless last night. Yeah, what do you expect? We're sleeping on soups up lilas. Do you know what we need soon? A building job that pays properly. A date night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good thinking. Mwah. Was the summer of 1976, and the ladybirds galore. Like the whole world had turned red and black. Oh. Uh, well, uh, better get on. Well, cheers, Roy. What's this? It's a uh, two for one offer for a restaurant in Gorton. Monsieur Pastiche. Mm, pasties with a French twist. Mm, frog's legs pasties, now, Tar. Oh, come on, was he sense of adventure? Well, it's probably lurking in my overdraft somewhere. Look, we really shouldn't be forking out for meals out in the minute. Oh, says the man that's having a brew out, you money waster. The man cannot survive on mate's rates alone. Which is why I'm going to go to town to chase upon some leads. Darling, um, are we OK? I've just got a lot on my plate. I think we, um, I think we need a date night soon to remember why we got together. Yeah, but can we afford it? We afford not to. <laughs> Hello? Just marshalling the troops on. Sorry, who is it? It's Lolly. Are you still coming? Oh, yes, yes, I am. Um, sorry, um, Gary's just working late. Just that. The kit is getting a bit low, so bring your purse. Oh, and uh, we've moved on. Rovers. Uh, so hurry up, you're missing all the action. Okay, you say. Give me one of them crazy cocktails, okay? Manchester, right? 
You can't turn a corner without tripping over a crane, but can us little guys get a look in? It's the lowest never work, then. There was a plaster there with two stubbies from Sunderland. I mean, why pay them travel when I'm round the corner and desperate? And plus, you do a bad job. <sighs> What's for tea? <sighs> it's my turn to cook, innit? We got out in. Hungry. Darling, if it's only the big firms getting work, why don't you apply to them? I mean, it's Jason's business. Yeah, which I'm paid to run. Which is all well and good. But what? Not much use if we're living off beans. Look, we're not going to starve, Sarah. I've got a backstop if we need it. It's getting embarrassing relying on my family. Why? What they said? Nothing. They don't mind, but I do. Why? What's the backstop? I don't want to jinx it. Look, Carla's practically said that I'll get first dibs when she does the roof. OK? It could be ages. <sighs> I do hi, campers. You look nice. I like curls. <laughs> it's, uh, it's that Kate and Rana's endo. I thought you'd be over there. Never mentioned that, babe. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a miss. I think we're just going to have a quiet night in, me and Gary. For a change. <laughs> you know, I really can't do anything, can I? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Have that door off its hinges. He's just tired. It's just been a rough day. Listen, why don't you give yourself a break and go to the party? No! Come on. Can't waste a curly blow, can you? Oh, seriously, it's not about the money. It'll have, like, fizzled out by now anyway. Kate was saying it's just going to be, like, a quiet thing. Right, I'm going to go and see how he is. You think that I'm nagging? I am proud of you. I mean, like, every time that you get knocked down, you always, always get back up again. It's not you I'm angry with. I mean, look at you. Talk about punching above my weight, eh? But if things don't change soon, I'm going to lose you, aren't I? Do you really think I'm that shallow? We ran out of tea bags at the yard. Tossed a coin and I lost. <laughs> but then again, I ran into you, so maybe I won after all. <laughs> <laughs> um, back off. Uh -huh. Bye, Goodbye, Aileen. <laughs> a bit early for you to be in the upright position, you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, well, I'm just going into town. See what's in the job centre. I'm not holding your breath for that. Right, when you've done that, why don't you come back and I'll treat you to lunch at Roy's? Sure, you can fit me into your busy schedule. Do you want a free meal or what? OK, OK. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll see you later. Hey. Good luck. <laughs> ah, it's good to see you. I'm a bit busy. Can we? Uh, she just said that I'll take the scaffolding down next week. Fantastic. Yeah, and I was also wondering when we could get the uh, the last instalment for the work, because I need to pay Jan okay. and the lads. OK, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I'll sort it. OK. But when you do decide to do the roof, you'll... You'll be the you'll... first to give me a quote. Take it, you didn't get the man. Yeah, he's coming, apparently. Things might be tough now, but they will get better. Yeah, I hope so, mate, because I am running out of options here. I'm lucky to get a flipping paper on at this rate. I'm just sick of being skint, you know what I mean? Yeah, along with most people around here these days. Come on, mate, it's the least I can do, isn't it? OK, OK, you can buy it. Hey, mind if we join you? You're my guest. Good, I bumped into you again. Yeah? Why? I'm going to be leaving soon. Uh, we should be getting the final money for the factory work, so I guess I'll have to start looking for another job. Right, well, um, don't be a stranger. 
You're in the area or if you need a taxi. I know who to call. Yeah. So, so what's this, the uh, last supper final fry up? I kind of, and I've had some good news actually. I've finally got some more building work lined up, so happy days. Congratulations. Why not? You love fish fingers. You have them every time you cook. Well, what do you want to eat then? Risotto! And since when do you like risotto? Shona makes it. It's lovely. All oh, right, well, if Shona makes it and she's such a wonderful cook, maybe you could have risotto every single night. Yes. Thanks, kids. Thanks for making me feel wanted. Right, just because you're in a bad mood doesn't mean you have to take it out on the kids. Get your little weird bendy fingers away well, from me, all there's right? There's nothing wrong with my fingers. They're normal. Yeah, look at this! Look! They're like little pork oh, bananas. Oh, you can talk. At least mine aren't twisted and scaly, lizard boy. Don't call me lizard boy, all right? Kids, your Auntie Sarah's bullying me, all right? You tell me the truth. Are my fingers weird? Yeah, I see. Yours are too, though. Aha, loser. Oh, why are you so childish? You start, yeah. What's up with you? Why are you being so narky all the time? No, I'm just... got a lot on with the barbers, all right? Oh, hello. Here he is. Do you know Izzy's trying to get hold of you? She needs some money for Jake. Yeah, and that's where I've been. Why me? Did you rob a bank? No, I just got paid for the new job, didn't I? You're not even started yet. Yeah, well, they pay you up front. Materials and stuff. Not looking for an hairdresser, are they? <laughs> Biggest fan, but what do you really think of Jan? Well, he uh, nicked my job. Oh, you've got to stop sulking about that. It wasn't his fault. I'm not sulking. All right. Maybe I'm a bit. Look, I know things are really tough at the moment, but they will turn round. When, though? Soon. And you've been trying really hard. I'm really proud of you. Just when you do get a job, don't try and cop off with the boss's girlfriend. Very funny. <laughs> That's better. Well, bang goes half our trade if this lot get laid off. Your street will be unemployed at this rate. Do you mind? I come in here to cheer myself up. Well, what's there to be cheerful about? Got no job, no girlfriend, lost the twins. I'm a joke. Hey, now, don't you go talking like that. You've got plenty going for you. Things will... What? Turn around, yeah? So everyone says. You know, if Gary had just given me my job back, then I'd have been away. But no, you just love rubbing my nose in it. You should have seen him. Well, you did try and diddle his missus. Well, everyone just stopped going on about that. It's fine. Why is it just me with the weird bendy fingers? Hey, Sarah, have you heard? Carla's shut in the factory. Moving it to Milton Keynes. Apart from packing. Seriously, why? Well, apparently it's been losing money for ages. Well, does Nick know about it? No, he's proper fuming and all. Don't bother coming in tomorrow. It'll be closed. Yeah, and we're on strike anyway. What can I get you, Flower? A uh, pint of lager, vodka, coke, and whatever the factory lot want. Hey, I won't oh. go away from that one round in here. One of them will mug you on the way home. You know what? Bad enough for this. I'm going to teach him his dodgy work as a lesson. Just ignore him. No. Someone needs to have a stupid smug smirk <sighs> off his face. Seb? <laughs> we need to talk. No, we don't. She's still for the fire oh, damage. No, Barry! Just leave her. She's a selfish cow. She only thinks about herself. We've always been the...
can't see, Brill. Oh, nearly gave me a heart attack. Kettle's on. What are you doing up so early? I'm making a pot of tea. Did you hear something? Who what? I don't know, but it was coming from the factory. It sounded like two cats fighting. It made a terrible noise. No. I know why you're up early. Yeah? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure about this? I'm positive. I need to start a new life somewhere else. We'll miss you. No, you won't. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll miss you. Hey, it's not for long. When you come out and join me on the boat, we can have some real adventures, can't we? Oh, why do I not like the sound of that? I love it. You said all your goodbyes. Yeah, yeah. It's the people that matter. How's the bride doing? Ah, oh, she's beautiful. But I bring bad news. Someone's put a brick through the side window of your car. Yeah, I know. It was Robert. Robert? Yeah, he got all shirty yesterday. Apparently he thinks it's my fault him and Michelle have finished. Was it? Oh, please. As if she'd finished with Robert on my say-so. Do you know Michelle? Mm. Any chance of a brute? Make it yourself. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> you all right, anyway? Fine. Do you know you've got a mermaid under your table? It's a figurehead. A what? A figurehead. It goes on the front of a boat. It's meant to bring good luck, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> but only if the mermaid is topless. It's amazing, isn't it? How many fun facts you can pick up when you buy a bloke a boat? Well, if you still want to give it to him, you better get a move on. He's leaving this afternoon. You what? Well, I saw Ken in the paper shop. He's driving Peter to pick up his new boat in Southampton. Did he not tell you? Not exactly. Still, if he's getting a new boat, it doesn't matter, does it? Have you heard from her? Right, she said she'd be back. <laughs> right, hold the fort. I'm coming in now. Yeah, I'm sure you don't want a piece, Mum. Mm, I'm already late. And, uh, got your grand's turn to buy coffee. Mm -hmm. She's only got 20 minutes because she's got, um, a walk-in wash and blow. Occupational hazard of the hairdressing trade. Yeah, I do. Take a bit, will you? Yeah. Cheers, I'll have it with me tea. You can save me a bit too. Ooh. Have a lovely day. Cheers. What? Well, our house is empty. Mm. The factory girls are on strike. Mm. You're not working today, mm. and it's your birthday. Mm. Your point is... Well, because we're so skinned, I can't get you a proper present. I'm going to make it up to you by making a very big fuss of you. How big a fuss? Anything you want, you can have. Anything? Anything at all. She didn't come home last night, and she's not answering her phone. That will be fine. She's got loads of mates. Hey, I hope that ink's waterproof. We don't want it to run. It's not going to run. We're going to tie it up on the scaffolding because we need as much publicity as possible. After we occupy the factory. I mean, until then, we keep stum. No one knows. Yeah, because if they find out what we're up to, they're going to lock that place up like Fort Knox. So how are we going to get in, then? Well, I have a small amount of experience centering lock buildings. I'll get that. Did you used to be a burglar? Ah, more like a burglar's apprentice. Because we don't want to do anything illegal. Oh, you said by your car, by crook. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to get us into trouble. I mean, we need a coherent plan. This campaign could go on for a long time. Sorry, Gina. She's made a banner too. Oh, Sally, that looks bigger than yours. Sorry I'm late, comrades. I was up all night making this. Hey. <laughs> I've already made a banner. Now that is a banner. Kate says the dress is nearly ready, but we're cutting it fine. Oh, look, Beth is probably the best machinist in that factory. She's also the laziest, but I'm sure she'll get the job done. <laughs> I've got a new boyfriend. Oh, really? Anybody we know? I doubt it. His name's Kyle. Kyle. Well, he's not officially my boyfriend, but we have exchanged some very romantic texts. Oh, internet dating. Well, not exactly. He's my prison pen pal. He's in prison? Well, he's not a criminal. It was a miscarriage of justice. And he's got an appeal coming up next month. Oh, you look fabulous. All I need now is a wedding dress. I could strangle that lolly. Oh, look, everything will work out fine. I've got a good feeling about this. And when I've got a good feeling, I'm never wrong. <laughs> so don't stress. Um, I need to go at half past to get the wedding car. I thought you did that this morning. No, that was something else. 
What else? And see Mum. You went to see Mum? Oh, still no word from Beth. She's quitting it fine. Oh, don't worry. Listen, don't tell anyone I told you this, but Beth is possibly the best machinist we've got in that factory. Even if she does need a boot up the backside. <laughs> well, from what I hear, she's the only machinist you've still got. Listen, all new business structures have their teething problems. Mm, tell me about it. Anyway, a few weeks, I'll be thanking me for this. Today's not about me, it's about you. Oh, I can't believe this is actually happening. <laughs> yeah, well, believe it. After this past year's sadness, you know, you deserve a massive chunk of happiness. So do you. Me? Fine. Mm, Dad's got Jenny. I've got Rana. Yeah. And I don't need a man to make me happy. <laughs> Is it true Peter's leaving today? What? Peter's leaving? Yeah, off to Southampton, then sailing into the sunset. Mm. How do you feel about that? Me, I feel, I feel fine. I'm the one that bought him a boat, remember? Waving him goodbye. You've... Said goodbye. Oh no, not really. You still love him. No, I do not. Oh, Carlo, you've got to say goodbye to him. <gasps> Especially after everything you two have been through together. I didn't actually know he was going. Phone him. No. You might not get another chance. Clock's ticking, go and see him. No, it's your wedding day. So? He's leaving. You can't let him go without telling him how you feel. I don't know how I feel. All the more reason to go and see him. Oh, I am so lucky. I've got my whole future ahead of me with Rana. Don't throw this away. Get your phone out, call him. I know what you said previously, but I've, I've been going through my accounts and I, I really would like to make a contribution towards the loss of your boat. What time are you going? Well, uh... Sort of now, really. Me dad's just putting some petrol in the car and... Uh... Well, I'm, I'm glad I caught you. Roy, I've already sorted a new bomb. So I should be in the Ionian by Easter ready for the new season, so... I really don't need this, but... Thanks. That food wasn't for well, me. it's fine, honestly, please. It's... You've got absolutely nothing to feel guilty about. Does, uh, does Carla know you, you're leaving today? Well, it's, uh, it's not a secret, so... Oh, what about you two? How's the land lie there? Well, I, I've asked her to, to move out. Ah, well, it's a shame, but, you know, it's, sometimes that happens. I should have done it ages ago. Yeah. yeah well, look, if, if, if there's anything I can ever do for you, then please. I appreciate it. Right, well, let's get back to the cafe, then. A uh, uh, good luck and uh, bon voyage. Uh, I'll see myself now. Take you care, are. Roy. You okay? Yeah. I'm okay. Hey, what you two been doing upstairs? I've just been showing him a new laptop. Yeah, it's really nice. It's better than mine. You don't suppose you got me a leaving present? Me going away is your leaving present. <laughs> Right, that'll be Captain Barlow, then. Right, you sure you've got everything? Yeah. Check, double-checked. No, we can always post anything you've forgotten. He's going to see. Send it by carrier pigeon. <laughs> Come here. I love you. Mm. I love you too, Dad. Look after him, Lee. I will. And you, remember, your mum's in charge. I thought I was in charge. <laughs> and, uh. Keep me posted on Sinead and Bertie. Yeah, I will. Right, OK, then, let's, uh, let's rock and roll, shall we? <laughs> oh, the boat's sunk. <laughs> Who is it? Nobody. Come on. Peter. Yeah, you just missed him. Him and my dad have just left for Southampton. Looks like you've missed the boat. 
Now I've got the house to myself. Right, come on, let's get Kettle on. I think she's softening. Softening? Well, she's stopped making this face anytime anyone mentions Kate. I've seen that face. Well, that's a good sign. She's just worried that things are moving too fast. And she's only just getting her head around it. Maybe if you waited six months. She said that. She said if you'd waited six months, she thinks we should only get married when she's ready. Who does she think she is? No, she didn't exactly say that. She just seemed more sad than angry. She gave me this. For you. This was Grandma's. It's beautiful. Maybe if I phoned her... Well, she's made her decision. I wouldn't push it. Look, she's come this far, but the last few steps are always the most difficult. I'm sorry. All this was supposed to be a big surprise. How can she send this and not want to see me and get married to the woman I love? Did you know Peter was leaving today? I did, yes. What, have you seen him? We've had a brief conversation. Did my name crop up at all? Occasionally. What did he say, Roy? Well, he made it clear that he felt it was time that he um, moved on. I knew it was that easy. Well, there was muddy footprints everywhere. Uh, two coffees, please, Roy. Certainly, I'll bring them up. No, 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 I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, well, I had to clean them up. What time did you go for a run, anyway? I don't know, about six-ish. And it's still dark? No, yeah, it's light enough to run. All right, well, next time, clean up your own muddy footprints. Or better still, take your trainers off. Oh, it looks like Carl is keeping a low profile. This is just getting married. Hey, you know what I heard? Roy's asked her to move out. Looks like Carla Connor's losing friends pretty fast. Yeah, well, she can't freeze me out. No, too bad she can't. Do you know what I feel like? Yeah, two, two coffees. Time, Roy. Yeah. You're welcome. My pleasure. Look, uh, don't worry. I'll make sure she can't get away with this. All right. Better go and get myself ready now. I can give you a little zhuzh at the hotel. Yeah. You look amazing. <laughs> I still haven't heard from Beth. Maybe I should text her. Whatever anyone says, Beth's a damn good machinist. She just needs prodding every now and then with a pointy stick. Right, are we ready for the full Monty? Can't wait to see this on. Uh, no, I can't do this. I'll be five minutes. Where, where are you going? I'm going to go see Juan. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. No, it's bad luck. I think we've had our fair share of bad luck already. Why didn't you stop her? I've known my daughter for 29 years. If Kate won something, you don't get in her way. Who gets married in a jumpsuit? I mean, except someone from ABBA. <laughs> or an Elvis, the Vegas years fan. <laughs> right, I'll go round the back, see if I can find a way in. Yeah, well, don't do anything illegal. Is it illegal to stand up for our right? Yeah, or fight for our jobs? Yeah, but if we break in, you might be happy to be carted off to jail, but I've been there, I know what it's like. Hey, look, we are well within our rights to occupy the workplace with a peaceful demonstration. Well, you're a lawyer now and all, are you? Well, you pick up a few bits and bobs when you've been through the judicial system. Work's out in, is it? Right, we're going to occupy the factory. <laughs> cool. <laughs> What's that mean? Occupy the factory. We lock ourselves in and we don't come out until they promise to give in to our demands. It's a bit like a sleepover. Or our own version of Underworld Big Brother. Oh, I love that show. Are you going to be filmed on the telly? Sadly not. Have you got out to do with this? Nope, but I am one of the workers. Mm, in that case, I better stay at all. Keep an eye on you. Well, if you're in, I'm in. <laughs> hey, nobody's in until we get inside. Leave it to us. Come on, Paul. Yeah, without breaking anything or doing any form of criminal damage. Oh. Izzy's on her way. We could try the door. I don't think Carla would be stupid enough to leave the door. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Heard anything from Nutty Natalie? No, hopefully she's got bored and gone off to terrorise someone else. She doesn't strike me as the type of girl who's going to give up easily. Right, but she's got to hold her nerve. She's a loose cannon. Right, yeah, she's just pushing her luck. Oh. What? She sent us a selfie. Of 
Gran doing her hair in the salon. Well, 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 look who it is. You shouldn't be in here. You shouldn't be here either. Well, she's working for management. Uh, I'm just mending Rana's wedding dress. So she can marry Carla's sister? Yeah, that makes you a scab. <laughs> Are you going to let him talk to me like that? Hey, you're either with us or you're against us. Look, I ain't got time for politics. I promised I'd get this dress done. This factory is occupied. By the people, for the people. And what's that mean? I don't know, but it sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and we want you out now. All right, all right, I'm on my way. The dress is done anyway, so I'll just take nope, it. No, you're not having that. You can't do that. This could be a bargaining chip in our industrial negotiations. Oh, no, she needs that dress. Yeah, you'll be spoiling Kate and Rana's wedding day. Well, all's fair in love and keeping your jobs. Carla will come down on you like a ton of bricks. Bring it on. Do you know, I'm not sure about the wedding dress thing. If she wants to dress, then she'll have to come and get it. This protest will end in disaster, mark my words. Come on, Kirky, we're going. I'm staying. You are? You go if you want. Not stay with these nutters, neither should you. I'm walking out this factory right now. I'll lock the door behind you. <laughs> Dad. Why didn't you get some mints from Devs before we set off? I need the bathroom as well. So, we've been on the road for less than half an hour and we've only got as far as Fresh Coast Car Park. That'll be two minutes with Carla. Yeah, I can see that. Again? Yeah, just turn it off. Or we could... Don't uh... do that. Hi, Carla. Kev? We're in the car. Is Peter there? Yes, I'm here. Where are you? On the way to Southampton. We're in Fresco's car park. I wanted some mint. I could stop for a coffee. I don't want a coffee. Just stay there, OK? Uh, I'll drive straight over. There's no point. Yes, sir, is Peter. We need to talk. No, we don't. We've said everything, all right? No, I haven't. Please stay there. Look, I, I'll be there as soon as I can, OK? Bye. Why did you do that? She wants to talk to you. Really? I'll get my mints. And you wait here. It's my fault. I shouldn't have gone to see her. Why doesn't she want to see me get married? I think it's more about who you're marrying. It's like everything was going wrong. First the dress, now this. Hey, this is your day, not hers. I thought I could cope with her not being there, but... I don't know, it... Hurt so much. I know. I shouldn't have put the idea in your head. I've never just stayed away. Do you think she'll come round in time? I don't know. There's definitely movement. See? Bad timing. No, we can fix this. How can we? Postpone the wedding. Till your mum's ready to see you get married. We can't. We can do whatever we want. It's our wedding. So. I wanted to give you this. It's kind of a going away present, only, um, you know, I, it's for the front of the boat. Oh, right, yeah, I see. It's a mermaid. Yeah? She's meant to protect you from, uh, I don't know, sharks, storms, maybe pirates. I do want one with a nice bikini, but uh, apparently they have to be topless to bring you good luck. I'll see if I can put it on my new boat. Is that it? OK, go on. Don't go. Carla, please. No more games. No games. No, no games. I'm serious, Anne. I'm sorry, I, I didn't even know I felt like this until I felt like it. And, and when I heard you were going for sure, I panicked. Look, who are you trying to torture here? Me? You? Both of us? Give me another chance. 
Please give us another chance, Peter. We've had all our chances. I want to be with you. I want us to be together. I, I still love you. I still love you. I love you. Why are you doing this? I, I don't understand. What's wrong with because you? Because I can't deny how I feel about you anymore. But you feel something different every day. How many times have I said exactly the same thing to you and you just didn't want to know? Okay, so I've got rubbish timing. Well, what do you want me to do? You bought me a flaming boat. I got it. I got the message. I'm going. Yeah, so my head's a bit all over the a place. A bit. Well, you're a really hard man to love. Really? Go on, keep going. You've done some unforgivable things. Here I am, Peter. I mean, I'm going to say I'm sitting in your dad's car with a topless mermaid telling you I still love you because I still love you. That's my message. We've been planning this for ages. If I marry you today or next month or next year, it will still be just as special to me. What about your family? My family are here with me. And if they weren't, I'd wait for them. They'll understand if you want to wait for your mum. I don't know if that will ever happen. She did give you the jewellery. OK, look, I know how much you care. So I'll make the decision for you. Well, I think Imran's right. If we give Sarah time, she might come round. And however long that takes, it'd be worth the wait. No, no. no. I want to postpone the wedding. I want Sarah there. Then we can have whatever we want. You do that for me. I'll call my dad now and he can explain it to everyone. Everything will be OK. Hmm? Just wait. Hello? Yeah? Oh, thanks, Beth. That's great news. I I'm sure you'll be fine. See you later. The dress is ready at the factory. This is a sign. I'm marrying you today. What about your mum? It's not my mum's decision to make or yours. Please don't have a row about this. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Can I just thank you both so very much for allowing me to witness this beautiful moment? <laughs> <laughs> I told you to sort her out, didn't I? OK, she won't say anything she wouldn't do. Nick, she's Gran's walking wash and blow. OK, if she was going to rat us out, she wouldn't have sent the selfie. She's just trying to wind us up. Yeah, well, she's succeeding. Hello, boys. What do you think you're playing at? I'm trying to get a decent hairdo, but frankly, around here, it's not that easy. Your grand's a lovely woman, but she's no Tony or Guy. Don't this, my grand. Give me the money. <laughs> no, you've had all you're going to get. Well, then, I wonder how old you would feel if she knew she'd just cut the hair of the person who took all the money out of the bank. You're bluffing. Tell you what, I'll play you at table footy. You win, I leave town empty handed. I win, you give me the cash or the job, not for say. In naps. And your chicken. What? 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 Go. Okay. What? An advantage I can take him. You're as nuts as she is. First five goals. Okay. And you can even kick off. Right, no one in and no one out. Um, do we have any rough idea of how long this is all going to take? It takes as long as it takes. Yeah, it's just cos I've got a hot yoga class booked on Thursday. Oh, we've not got sleeping bags. Mm. Good point. Don't worry, look at all the material we've got in here. Give us a couple of hours, I'll make you some. Ooh, can I have lazy bits around the edge? You can have anything you like. Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> hey, when the coppers come, fancy me being the first chaining myself to the hunkiest. I reckon they'll bring in the army. Ooh. Surrenders on all sides. Oh, nothing like an armed siege to bring management to the negotiating table. We're all locked in now. Uh, power to the workers! <laughs> oh, has anyone got a charger for this? Oh, no, I haven't bought one for my phone, neither. Oh, no, that is a worry, cos we do need to be able to communicate with the outside world. We can use the landline. No, I'm talking multi-platform. Beth. Best save me battery. No, I'm nearly out and all. Mm, mine's dead already. Oh, don't worry, cos I brought a few just in case. Oh, oh nice oh, one. Yeah, oh, <laughs> what is that? Something just keeps pulling them back together. That's amazing. Mm, she bought him a boat. 
a way of letting him go, I suppose. But that boat got burnt in a fire. Really? I thought it was all over for good. But then we stopped for some mints, and there she is. Back again for one last try to salvage the relationship. This is fantastic stuff. Do you mind if I take notes? Notes? Yeah, I'm writing a collection of short stories. Tales from the Trolley Man. This would be brilliant. Hey, no one in, no one out. It's Ranish, come for a wedding dress. We're holding it hostage. You can't do that. Well, bring Carla here and we'll negotiate. This is totally unfair. I agree, it's a wedding day. That dress is a bargaining tool. But you can take the dress. But tell Carla we didn't choose this fight and we're not gonna lie down and let her walk all over us. Happy you can put that in your wedding vows. <laughs> Sean, this is serious. We're talking about our jobs. You're too soft. It's in the office, come on. Hey, I've got something for everyone. Pringles, salt and vinegar crisp, prawn cocktail crisp, mini cheddars, chip sticks, cheesy puffs. That's not food, that's salty nibbles. That's just the savouries. I've got biscuits too. Digestives, big rolls, ginger nuts. Oh, no, that is what I call a feast. Where's the fruit and vegetables? We're all going to get scurvy. Yeah, I did say get food supplies. Well, this is food. I've got the fig rolls for you. Figs are fruit. I've got to be in here for days, Kirky. I need proper food. Well, maybe we could order takeaways. No one in, no one out. Ah, oh, we're going to have to ration all this. I'm starving. Yeah, me too. Me and all. Who's Gina? Oh, the Sam go up on the roof, putting a banner up. Oh, she did, did she? So they've barricaded themselves in the factory? Well, I don't know about a barricade, but they've locked themselves in. Without permission? The? Do you think Carlo and Nick would agree to having the factory occupied? Civil trespass. Oh, I don't want my Kirky going to jail. Look, okay, I've got a bit of time before the wedding. Maybe I could go and talk to him, try and persuade him to come out before things go too far. Do you think you could do that? I can try. Right, don't tell anyone it was me that dubbed him in. And if it starts kicking off, don't arrest Kirky. If he commits a crime, I have a duty to arrest him. Oh, she's done an incredible job. What is going on over there? Hey, don't worry about that. This is your day. You can ignore the rest of the world. Really? Well, if you're having doubts. I don't. It's just... Um, you can talk to me. Best friend? Sister of the man whose heart you broke? <laughs> I'm a total disaster zone. Right, look, OK, seriously. If you're not 100% sure that you're doing the right thing, then you've got to put a stop to this right now. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. You included. I'm certain. 100%. Right. Come on, let's get you dressed before the revolting workers storm over here and try and take us hostage. <laughs> you should go. You're going to be late for the wedding. I'd rather miss the wedding than lose you again. See, that just proves to me that you've lost the plot. Kate's already getting married without your brother, Carl. You have to be there. You have to. Please don't go. I have to. You don't, nobody has to do anything. Look, I don't know what's going on in that head of yours, but all this, this is crazy. No, it is not to me. I need you. I need you. You never have. I still love booze, okay? I don't care. Just wait, that. please let me finish. I still crave it every day, but I can't. Because it'll kill me. And I'm not being funny, but it's the same with you. I may never stop loving you. Dad, we're going now.
you're nervous, Nicky. You're quite good at this, aren't you? It's one of my superpowers. Right. You got others? Oh, yeah. And they're not all pub games. What's the score? Four all. Next goal wins. De Bruyne to Silva. Silva to Sterling. Sterling crosses. Aguero in the box. Aguero scores! And the crowd go wild! Oh, no, 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 no. You were spinning. No, I wasn't. Yeah, it's an illegal move. No way. I had you in my pocket. And now you can fill my pockets with lots of lovely cash. Right, OK. Uh, first to ten. Sorry. You lost. Now show a bit of dignity and give my winnings. Come on, we can work something out. Keep talking, loser. Right. I can't give you what I don't have, but I'm coming into a windfall, and when I do, I don't know, maybe we can negotiate, play again, make it worth your while. What kind of windfall? It's a 50-50 thing. You owe me. Right, you'll get paid. You heard that, right? You mess me about, you'll be sorry. I'll get the message. Tape the neck. It'll look much better. Yeah, cheers. See? I know about hair. Look at the neck. Look at you. Do you know, I can always rely on you to find new ways to undermine me. I supported you. I'm on your side. Oh, really? So the second my back's turned, you sneak out here to put your banner up instead of mine? I thought this campaign was supposed to attract attention. I was up all night making my banner. You're not a great mind. No, a copycat sister. Do you know what? Unsquabbling is not helping them in there. Well, at least that's one thing we can agree on. Well, let's put up both banners. Your banner is bigger than mine. <laughs> well, that's not my fault. Gina, I've been here a lot longer than you. They are my friends. Right, I'm not arguing. Why don't we put your banner up at the front and mine at the back so you get top billing? Really? Yeah, I just want to help. And we all know how you like to be the star of the show. Is this is say. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, I've that good with heights. Will you sell? I'm fine. No, give me your banner. I'll put it up. No, for I will do it. Well, let's do it together. Right, you go up first. I'll be right behind you. Ah! <laughs> Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. <laughs> Let me hold your banner, then. No, I can do it. Why did you even agree to play her in the first place? I thought I could beat her. I mean, I didn't know she was an expert. Yeah, but it was her idea. She's not going to suggest it if she thinks she's going to lose, is she? And what's this windfall? What? You told her you're expecting some windfall. Yeah, well, I made it up. And for a minute, I thought you were planning on burning down the factory so you can claim on the insurance. <laughs> right, as if. Well, I don't know what you're capable of these days, do you? Okay, look. Got any bright ideas? Now would be a good time. Look, no one is going to recognize her from a CCTV, all right? Grand didn't. So why don't we just take her on and give her the job? I mean, she might get bored after a few hours. Oh, no, we let her in. She'll just want more. I'm not losing out to another greedy woman. So what you do is you grab your man, you slap the cuffs on, and then you swallow the key. Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm rubbish at swallowing. Hate it when you have to take pills. How come you've got handcuffs in your bag anyway? I've always got them. You never know when you're going to need them, do you? Oh, well, I won't give for a banana or some grapes. Oh, a pot of hummus and some carrot sticks. We start with the plain digestives. I've counted, and there's three each. Then when they run out, we move on to the fig rolls. One each. I don't like fig rolls. Can I have hobnob? We haven't got enough hobnobs. What about the ginger nuts? We don't want them and all. I just thought we saved the fancy biscuits till we're really hungry. I'm hungry now. Well, what about this? Where have you got that from? I found it in a drawer in the office. Well, you can't take that. That's the office whiskey. So? Well, that's stealing. Look, all we got is biscuits. We're gonna need the calories. We promised Sally we wouldn't break the law. Please! The siege has begun. <laughs> this is so exciting. I think I can hear helicopters. <laughs> Whatever they want, tell them we're not moving. We're not coming out. We're occupying the workplace. 
We will, however, negotiate if you bring us pizzas. I don't have any pizza. Just open the door. That's Craig. Oh, so he's not a proper copper, then. Craig? Yeah? We can't come out. We're making a protest. Look, I just want to help. I can hear people on the roof. Yeah, they're putting up banners. Look, let me in and we can talk. Sally said, no one in, no one out. Well, let Rana in. Are you on your own or have you got back up? Yeah, I'm on my own. Look, I just want to help. Craig, can you hear me? Yeah, of course I can hear you. OK, this is a deal. But when you snip over to devs and buy us some biscuits, we want obnobs, jammy dodgers, wagon wheels, as much as you can get, then we'll let you in. OK, I'll be five minutes, OK? Good work. Oh, I should have got him to get some cans of lager. The negotiations have just begun. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Maria, Jenny and Alia of at the hotel, they say it looks fabulous. My oh, heart's beating so fast. <laughs> this is actually going to happen. Thank you. For what? For this. I wish Aidan could be here. Wish your mum could too. <laughs> but wherever they are, they'll be smiling on you today. You look so beautiful. <laughs> Don't make me cry. Hey, it's your wedding day. You can cry if you want to. Even then, all my makeup will run all over my face and I'll look a total mess. <laughs> Hiya, where are you? In the flat. All dressed up and waiting for him, Ron. The dress is great. <sighs> I'm with my dad in the pub, yeah? The car should be here soon. Can't wait to see you, daughter-in-law. <laughs> Thanks for that. I just want you to know... ...that everything's OK and that I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Not long now and we'll be married. I can't wait. Me neither. Oh, our cars are here. Yeah, I'll I'll see you at the hotel. All right. Go, go, go. Yeah. See ya. Would it have killed you to get some fruit? Look, I think you've made your point. But one guarantees our jobs are safe. We've been stabbed in the back once, so we're not going to let them do it again. If you stay here, you could end up in serious trouble. And them two, they shouldn't be on the roof. Well, if you brought us some beer and pizza, maybe we could continue the negotiations. Yeah, or kebabs. You work in a kebab shop. What's your point? It's not me you should be negotiating with. Yeah, well, we can't talk to Carla. She's at the wedding. We have to stay here. You trespassing. Uh, the door was open. That's not the point. Hey, don't even think about arresting us, cos I will handcuff myself to you. She's got her own handcuffs. Look. I've got to go to the wedding. So, you either leave or I call it in. Well, then you have a problem, cos we're going nowhere. Looks like it's time for you to go, officer. I'll show you out. Don't forget to lock the door. My mum is really upset. Nothing I can do about that. Come on. Stay strong, comrade. Right, should be able to see that for miles. Give me my banner, I'll put it at the back. Oh, sorry. You just dropped my banner. It was an accident. No, it wasn't. You did it on purpose. You couldn't wait to get up here, could you, and put your banner up instead of mine? I was trying to help the protest. What are you even doing up here? Nobody wants you. I certainly don't. I'm trying to make things right, Sal. You tried to steal my husband. You can never make things right. Did you never make a mistake? Not one like that. As soon as Sally gets back, then we'll reassess our strategy. I don't care, me. I'm opening these up. What's that? What's happened to us, Sal? We used to be like two mudlarks on a twig. We were never mudlarks on a twig. We've always been a total nightmare. As a child, and as a teenager, and as an adult, we're sisters in no only. Oh, come on, Gina, be honest. You hate me. I don't hate you, I love you. Well, then do me a favour. Go away and leave me and my family in peace. And let me get on with fighting for the jobs of my friends. If that's what you want. That's exactly what I want. 
Let me help you down. No, I'm fine. Give me a hand. Yeah, hands. Let's go up. You're scared of heights. Listen, I can come down on my own. You go down. Look, I just want to help. Do you want to fall? Do you? Just let me help you, Sal. Sal? Sal? Kirk? Kirk! They're always late, aren't they? Yeah, but, well, once you get past ten minutes, I don't know. What? Well, that's quite late, isn't it? I mean, you know, there's normal late, and then there's, like, you know, she definitely come in, kind of late. Of course she's come in. This is Kate and Rana we're talking about. They're so obviously perfect for each other. She's not going to do a runner, is she? Jack, seriously, I'm cursed. People should stop inviting me to weddings. <laughs> I bet they've only just got the cake stains out of the carpets from Tracy's. <laughs> oh! Thank goodness you haven't started. You would not believe the traffic on the ring road. I mean, it is always bad, but it is a whole new level of... Sorry. Still no sign? Nope. I think they flipped a coin to see who's going to be the late one. And then there's the speeches as well. And who's going to follow the blue tag? Every day's a school day for you, anyway. I'm sure she'll be here in a minute. If you heard Craig, they'll be stuck in traffic. Why haven't either of them called? She's just waiting for Imran, isn't she? That's what she told me. Yeah, me too. How was she when you spoke to her? What? Yeah, fine. Fine? Yeah. Why'd you hesitate then? She was a bit nervous. How nervous? Like, second thoughts nervous? No, no. I don't think so. Kate? Here's Imran on his way with Rana. Oh, I haven't heard from him. Oh, do you want me to, um... I'm getting the impression she does, yes. Now, don't panic. If he doesn't pick up, they'll just be driving. <laughs> Imran. I've... Oh, OK. Imran, where the hell are you? I'm at the flat now. No, she's not here. Well, I don't know, do I? She's not answering her phone. 
Whoa, hey, calm down. I'm not, look, she's probably just nipped over to the cafe or something. Well, I don't know, do I? But just, okay, don't worry. I will find her and I will call you as soon as I do, okay? Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Gemma, are you okay? My head hurts. Sean, is that you? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just going to get to Gemma. Is she okay? Uh, I think she's hurt herself. <laughs> Hang on, we're coming. I'm not sure I am, mate. I can't get this off. Here. Has anyone seen Emma? Or is there? I'm here. I think I'm okay. I've not seen Izzy. Izzy! Izzy! What happened? I don't know. Is she okay? You're bleeding. I'm fine. Everyone's gonna be fine. Right. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh, wait! It's not going. I don't get what happened. Was it like an earthquake or something? I don't know, mate. I don't know. Right. Let's try again. Let's try again! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Let's try again. All right. Wait. That cable's still alive. <laughs> it's on the metal. Don't touch anything. Sean, Emma, <coughs> do not touch any metal. Uh, oh, this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> I tried to save her. Hey, it's okay. Stop! There's no way around the bunker. Yeah. Hey, move! Yeah. Go tell the way I'm resting. Watch out! Do we know who's in there? I don't know. Loads of people. Kirky, Gemma, Paul. Was Izzy in there? It was Rana. I can't find her. No, she came to get a dress, but she left ages ago. The emergency services are nearly here. Please wait for them. Gina! Don't! Don't! Paul! Don't, 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 don't touch anything. the metal! Listen, don't touch it. Right. Everybody just stay still. Not too still, though, eh? <laughs> the mains burst. There's water everywhere. And Kirk's trapped. Does anybody know where the fuse box is? <laughs> Kirk, where's the fuse box? I have no idea. He doesn't know. A, a try in the office. On a wall. <coughs> Mate, please tell me you're not eating those mini cheddars. I have a bucket in my pocket. I always drink when I'm nervous. Fuse box will be at the end of the cable, all the cables. <coughs> is it just me or is that water spreading? Is it nearly reaching that metal now? Abby, you've got to shut it off Abby, right now! Turn off the power! Quickly! I've found it! Gary, Ty, it's over here! Oh, I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh, it's all right. Oh, she's done it! Oh. I need some more mini cheddars. Me too, mate. Me too. He shouldn't have gone in. Come on, come on. Oh, I can't wait anymore. I'm going in. Beth, I say this with all love, affection, and sisterly solidarity, but it is unlikely that you'll be much help, love. Gabby! Kirky! Oh, oh babe! Oh, are you OK? We are never fighting again. Don't worry, I'm fine. I mean, I didn't really fight to death, but I'm fine. Just as you and Sally left in there. Is she all right? <coughs> Bit of a nasty bang on her head, but you're going to be all right, aren't you? Cause... Yeah. Jen. Yeah, this is nothing compared to what I'm going to give Chess for missing this. Hey! Where's he? Say? We're still found that. Flipping heck! What the hell's happened to the factory? Well, where the hell have you been? I went to look up at the bread, let's decide to go get some proper food. Come here. Oh. That's fine, Dizzy. 
Sissy, you definitely have the loading bay. Yeah, we're going to put a man on the scaffolding. Well, Sissy's up there because of you. Stop! Sally! Stop! You seen anything? No, Captain. Well, Tim, listen to me. We can try the other side. Tim! I'm here, watch out! Go! Go! I can see her, she's not moving. Sally! <coughs> Sally! So instead of telling me she doesn't want to get married, she doesn't show up? No. Where is she then? Kate, maybe she just needed a bit of space. Why does she need space on our wedding day? You know, people always get funny at weddings, don't they? They freak out. I mean, I was a wedding planner, remember? And someone's always getting jittery, but they, they still go through with it in the end. That's right. We just give her time. It's not like we're in any rush. Right, um, don't panic, but I'm pretty sure the next wedding after hours has just turned off. Oh, oh flipping Jenny. it, Jenny! Great. So what did that for? Well, I said don't panic. Yeah, but that doesn't work if you then tell them something that makes them panic. Let's all just calm down. Oh, yeah, OK. Um, it's Imran here. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Imran? Where is she? I don't know. I was looking. I, I am still looking. What's all that noise? Also, I'm calling to tell you before you find out from anybody else. Now, don't panic. Right. Oh, God. The fact you roofs collapsed. Oh, my God. Listen to me. Rana wasn't involved, OK? Are you sure? Absolutely. I spoke to everyone that was there. She was not in there, OK? What's happened? Apparently, the roofs collapsed at the factory. What? She reckon Rana wasn't there. Guys, I've just had a text from mate over at ED. Apparently, it's been a major incident in Underworld. Well, ha well, hang on a minute. What about Carla? I have you seen her. Is, she... Is Carla there? Has anyone seen Carla? I thought she was at the wedding. No, no one's seen her. No, she definitely wasn't there either. Listen, I'm going to keep looking for her. Have you tried her? No, you know, maybe she'll answer if it's you. Of course I've tried her. Look, why don't you, I don't know, call your mum. Maybe she's going to talk to her. Get the after and get the safety off. What are you doing? I'm going to try her. Come on, come on, come on. Sally. Sally, look, can you hear me? Don't try to move. We're going to get you out. <laughs> Please, don't right. think to get out of here as quick as you can. All right, just get out of here, will you? We will. We just need to clear the way. And the best thing you can do is keep heading back that way. Do you know if everyone's accounted for? Yeah, as far as we know, that's everyone. <laughs> yeah. Just watch the heads as they're coming out. OK, that's great. OK, now it's a good huge storm there. Now we can as we're moving around the building as well. Yeah, I'm going to show up the centre just to get through. Hi, this is Rana. I love messages, so please leave one. Please. Rana, it's me. Please call, yeah? I'm getting really worried now. There's been an accident on the street and we're all here waiting for you. I don't get why you're not here yet. But if I've done something wrong or if you're having second thoughts or doubts, just tell me, OK? Because whatever it is, we'll work it out. I know we will. I love you. Thank God. Uh, where are you? Um, in the factory. I can't get out. Yes, yeah, it was stupid. I'm sorry. Mum, 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 I've just heard what's happened. Is everyone OK? They don't know yet. Sally's in a bad way. I nearly died. What, are you OK? <laughs> hey, hey, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right, yeah? Sally! Sally! Get off! Get off! Okay. Stable at the 
made it under the desk and my leg hurts. I think it might be broken, but other than that, I think I'm okay. The dress is ruined again. I think it's safe to say that dress is cursed. <laughs> hey, it's okay, we're on our way. And I'm not going anywhere. Look, we can talk the whole time, okay? I love you so much. I love you too. And you don't need to worry, because we're going to get you out. And uh, I'm going to talk to you the whole time, okay? Today's going to be the best day of our lives. I love you. I love you. It's going to be okay. Right, so they know she's in the office, yeah? Uh, yes, they're heading over to her now. Look, I just don't... How was she missed? Because we didn't know she was there. But now we do, and we're doing everything we can to get her out, okay? Can you hear us? Rana, can you hear us? Rana. In here! That's brilliant. Keep shouting till they can hear you. And, and I'm here too, babe. I'm just round the corner. We're getting you out and we're getting married, okay? Might have to change the venue because we've definitely missed our slot now. But we're getting married. I promise you. Keep calling out. Can you hear us? Watch out. I'm okay. Hang on, I'm picking something up. Pick someone up on the thermal imaging scan. I think she's through here. Yeah. Got a heat detected. 
Rana? We'll be there in no time. Keep your eyes shut for the dust, okay? Just, just here, here, mate. Stop here, here, mate, mate, just stop, stop here, here, please. It's fine. Beyond the door, please. Unlock the door. <laughs> Keep checking on safety. The building above us will look safe. Just look out. Look like the safety. No, I'm coming. I'm coming now. Okay, Rana. Right, just Stay keep there. checking it now. Because you need to go don't get on no we do <laughs> but you just couldn't be bothered to go to a wedding <laughs> yeah go home congratulate your sister i'm not sure i should try there's a cab rank outside any other excuses has this got something to do with the boat sorry sorry what? yeah okay well thanks for letting me know and uh Take care of yourself, yeah? What's happened? That was Daniel. There's been an accident back at the factory. The roof's caved in. Rana's still trapped. Rana? Isn't she getting married today? Do you think we should go back? Go back? Why? I just feel bad about leaving if... If what? If Carla's in a mess. She inside? No, but... No, but it's Carla. Peter, I asked you if you were sure. I know, but that was before this. Kate's a sister. If anything happens to Rana... It... She's got a whole family to look after her. Oh. <sighs> Do you love her? Yes. You've got a decision to make. Hey, we've just heard. Why are they not going back inside? We've got to make sure that no more will come down yet. I'll see what I can find now. Yeah, me too. Look, just let me go, OK? Look, I know before you say anything, I know how this works. I know you have a duty of care. I'm sorry. Hey, man, but I will off. sign away, whatever it takes. I'm sorry, sir. We need to keep everybody back. See how you are working as fast as they can. I'm still there, Rana. If you can hear this, I want you to know that I'm soon right here. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. It hasn't reached us. The whole factory roof's come down. It's Ellie and Gina were up there for the protest. Uh, is everyone safe? I don't know. They've got everyone out except for Rana. Is she still in there? Oh, it's Gary. Oh, he's going to get Harry. He was really shaken up. He thought Izzy was still inside.
Alicia. They're coming in to get you now. Just hold on. We're all here. Imran, everyone. Just hold on, yeah? I can't do this. It's okay. It's okay. She's a strong girl. She'll be fine. They're getting ready to go back in. Right, I've asked if I can go in there with him, okay? You do that? Yeah, and all the paramedics. Wait. You get her out, yeah? Yeah, listen, of course. Okay. Now, Ali, be careful. Yeah, of course. Okay. Why was she even in there? I don't know. She went to get a bag. The rings were in it. And the vows. She was nervous about getting it right. Rana, is she there? Shh, you Rana, can you hear me? Today's our wedding day. 
Sorry, just let her in. I can't. It's not safe. I'm willing to take that risk. Come on, you got to let her. Yeah. yeah, if it's safe enough for the paramedics. I'm sorry, you've got to let them do the job. OK, everybody needs to back off. Oh, oh, hey, 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 it's me. Hey, 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 hey no, 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 you listen to me. Hey, you're going to be OK, yeah? Hey, we are going to get you out of there. And this is going to be the best anniversary anecdote ever. <laughs> no, seriously, we are going to be boring each other's kids with this for years. <laughs> Having kids. <laughs> Didn't I say? All strapping young boys and and uh, and, uh maybe a little. Too, eh? It ran us scared. Mum. Hey, that's no, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Do you want to call her? No. No. General, I love her. Oh, no, God. No, get, get it. It's okay. Just breathe. That's it. That's it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hey, she is not doing this on her own. We are getting with you. How are we doing that? Just, just... Oh, you tell her. Oh. <laughs> And the mum just turned to spout whatever she says. She's very, very proud of her. Yeah. Right, are you ready? Oi! Right, I am getting in there now! Yeah, you didn't seem that surprised when you heard about the roof. Well, it was. No, you seemed worried about the people inside, but not all that surprised. Come on. OK. Carla mentioned that the uh, roof might need replacing. So are you guys going to end up in trouble over this? No, I just found out. Unless you wanted the roof to collapse. What? Well, I mean, there you were saying how you were going to lose your business to another greedy woman. Well, yeah. And then but... you were telling Natalie how you are expecting... No, 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 no. So you no, weren't no, talking no. about the insurance for the fat trip? Oh, right, you think I had something to do with it? Well, yeah, yeah, I do think it's something you're capable of. So you think I caused the factory roof collapse? Potentially killing people? You think I'm capable of that? Yeah. I thought you've gone. Has it got rather out you? No, Kate's in there with her now. Don't look good. 
Where's Carla? I don't know. Oh, wait, no, I do. Uh, she headed off down that way. Okay. Anyone tries anything like that again, we're nicking you. We're assaulting an officer, okay? I'm happy to spend a night in your cells if you want to try a look. No, it's okay. Kay's with her. I'm never going to see her again, am I? Yes, you will. They'll get her out. They have to. That's right. She's not losing her as well. <laughs> You're doing really well. Ellie, you have to get her out. Look, we're just getting ready to remove the beam. And then we're going to try and get her out there as quickly as possible, OK? Can you tell them to give us some up? No, Granny, you need to let them do it as soon as possible. No. We need to get back. No. Just in case. No. Please, just in case. And tell me about us. Let's get married now. <laughs> Carla! <laughs> Is she dead? Hey. Is she dead? It's okay. Is she dead? They're trying to get her out. Oh, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's, not my fault. it's okay. I'm here now. I'm not going anywhere, okay? It's okay. <laughs> Everything to me. No, all I. Someone said that love is one soul in two bodies. And that's us. I can't exist without you. You are the most beautiful person in the whole world. And you look a million times better than I do. <laughs> See? Put that in before seeing you. And it's true. <laughs> and then... And then I was gonna go on to say... I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> oh, my love. when you do yours. I, I can't remember. I told you I needed to ring. No, it's okay. I can't remember. It's okay. That's why I came back. Shh. I, can't, I, can't. I, I know, I know, I know. Shh. I don't want to leave you. You're not. I'm not leaving you. No. Like you said, we can't leave each other. Because we're the same person. Yeah. One soul in two bodies. I like that. I didn't make it up or anything. I found it on the internet. <laughs> I think I remember my vows. Yeah? I, uh, I can't remember how it starts. <laughs> but the end is me. Thanking you. But never give an up on <laughs> making me oh thank you <laughs> anyway <laughs> I knew yours would make me cry <laughs> um, so are we married now <laughs> oh thank god thank god <laughs> Now 
I know it. All my love. Yeah. Always. <laughs> you have to say kiss the... Rana. Rana! Rana! Okay. <laughs> you got to help us! Charge him. Clear. No response. No, no, no! Okay, let's try again. Clear. No response. Please. Please don't leave. this would happen. I did. Listen to me. This is not your fault. This is my fault. I knew the room was unsafe. I knew I needed to fix it. I didn't do anything about it. I was just I was too busy trying to keep everything afloat. Gary, Gary told me and I told him not to fix it. It was me. <laughs> Give it to me. Michelle. Did she get out? Did she get out? Did Rana get out? Oh, no, 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 no! Bet he's bricking it. Who? Gary Windass. He was up there working on the roof. Next thing, bam. That can't be his fault, can it? He won't be the first builder to do a shoddy job. <clears throat> it's just so sad. I just can't get my head around it. What are the police saying? 
Uh, it's carnage in there. It's going to take them ages to sort out. You got any idea what happened? No, but they're going to interview everyone. And I gave them your number. Look at the bright side, you know. You get to go home, and we'll sleep on my floor. Yeah, thanks. Um, I'll uh, pick our stuff up when I get a minute. OK. I'm going to see Carla. I'll catch you later. Yeah? Stop looking so guilty. You haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, I know. I'm just... It's not very good in situations like that. Out of official. Darling, you'll be fine. What if Carla tries to pin it on me? No, why would she do it? No. I should have pushed harder. I should have made her do the whole roof straight away. It's not your responsibility. You told Carla about the roof. You made it clear. This is on Carla, not you. Right, pair, aren't we? Roy, I hate to see you fretting. I fear that the bolt fire might have caused more harm than we thought to the factory. Look, don't please blame yourself. That, that fire damage was totally superficial. Well, it wouldn't be the first time you'd lied to protect me. You've done nothing wrong, Roy. Trust me. Listen, I... And just know, I know this doesn't change anything, OK? I'm not following you. I'm still going to look for another place to live. Uh, don't concern yourself with all that. You must stay as long as you wish. <sighs> feel better after that shower. Yes, uh, it can be quite invigorating, though I fear the cubicle needs regrouting. All right, well, I'd better get back downstairs. Um, if you do see Kate, will you give her my condolences? Yeah, of course. Um, I'm just not sure what I'm going to say, you know, I don't want to intrude. Hey, Roy, uh, can I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah please, go away, go away. How you doing? Factory's crawling with police. Firemen, investigators. Going to interview us all. Please tell me you didn't know the roof was so dangerous. Of course you didn't know. You said it needed replacing. I just didn't realise it was so urgent. No, neither did she. Hey, look, we're in a heap of trouble. And I'm no expert, but you know what this means, don't you? It's manslaughter, and someone's going to have to pay. Come here, let me fluffy pillows up. Mm. There you go. Do you want anything? You're hungry? I saw a lovely newly typed salad thing in the cafe. I could get used to this, you two at my back and call. Well, you won't get any complaints from me, love. This whole thing's been a total nightmare, so... For a moment, I thought we'd lost you. Yeah, same goes. You're my world, you are, Sally. That's all I'd do without you. You like the Terminator. No matter what happens, you just keep bouncing back. <laughs> yeah. You definitely give Arnie a run for his money. Yeah, I think I got off lightly, didn't I? Broken collarbone and a couple of broken ribs. It's nothing in the grand scheme of things. Gina not been in? No. But I'd be glad about that if I were you. She might try and finish off what she started. Don't put all the blame on her. I've always been just as stupid as she was. So who did start yourself? Who wound you up? Tim, let's not peck my mum's head, eh? Just be grateful that she's here and she got out alive. Who else are you? Oh, Gary, obviously. Nick? I can only assume that Gary told Sarah. So none of the other builders got wind of it? No, Gary made sure they were kept out of it. So, no one's denying that you knew there was a problem with the roof, but you couldn't have predicted that it would fall down. Well, no, but... Right, well, OK, then. I blame Gary. It's not his fault, OK? He tried to tell me to get it sorted. I, I, it was my choice to not do anything about it. He's supposed to be a professional builder. If he knew it was that unsafe, he had a duty to make that clear. And he tried. Well, he tried. Not hard enough, obviously. OK, look, Peter, I appreciate what you're doing, all right, but... 
This has got nothing to do with you. I'm going to go to the police and I'm going to tell the truth. Just hang on, right? It's not just about you, you know. Nick will be implicated. Think about this. What about Kate? Kate? What's the so-called truth going to do to her? Peter, her fiancé is dead because of me. She deserves to know the truth. Really? You think so because she's already lost Rana? She couldn't cope with losing you as well. Carla, sweetheart, you never set out to hurt anybody, okay? Why should you be punished? Just please, just don't go to the police yet. One way or another, I'm gonna sort this. Okay? Get you a drink or anything? No, I'm fine, thanks. Still want to sink in. I know. I'm the same. Oh, well, it's no wonder you're both in shock. I've been thinking, I, um... I wanted to ask you something. No, man, it's too soon. Mm -hmm. No, go on. Are you aware that when... Um... Did she say anything? Did she know what was happening to her? Tim said she was amazing. You stopped him and all the boys from getting fried. I did. Funny that, because I normally love anything fried. <laughs> How's Sal? Yeah, she's surprisingly perky. She's still shaking, though, so you're going to have to sit still in the ice. What are you on about? I'm always nice. You need drink. You've got to go black as sewer. Hey, uh, I meant to ask, have you heard anything about Rana? I'm really sorry to have to tell you this, but she, she didn't make it. She died yesterday. Okay. Listen, I know this is going to sound a bit, but let's not tell Sally, eh? Why not? She's going to find out sooner or later. Yeah, but she was up on that roof, wasn't she? Right. I know you hope you're not blaming my mum. Well, she wasn't to know what was going to happen, and a, a proper solid roof should be able to take someone's weight. Yeah, yeah, I'm not arguing that. I'm not blaming her, but knowing Sally, she'll sure as hell blame herself. Let's just not tell her, eh? We'll always remember you, Rana. Sweet dreams. Doesn't get any easier, does it? I can't do this. I can't do it. No, not now. Imran, please. Where have they taken Rana? I need to know. You couldn't care less when she was alive. Why are you pretending to care now that she's dead? Whatever you think of me, I'm still her mother. You disowned her. Hey, Rana, I loved her so much. No, no, no. No, you loved her when she told the line. When she did as she was told. When she played the dutiful daughter. And the minute she goes off on her own, you bit her off. Right, Rana, we hate us fighting. We all need to sit down together. Talk. There's nothing to talk about. Save your tears. It's too little, too late. I'm going to see Carla. No, not today, you know. She's, uh, she's in no fit state. Okay, look, I know she's had a fair share of troubles, Gary. I really do, but this is... This is flawed. Right? Look, I told her that roof needed fixing. She better not try and pin this on me. Okay, I see. You look after number one, why not? Well, I bet she's doing exactly the same. Thought she her holding her hands up. Like I said, 
She's in no fit state, honestly. She's devastated. It's less than a year since she lost her brother. Oh, come on, don't throw that at me. And all I'm saying is this... This doesn't have to be a big deal, does it? So let's say... You never told her the whole roof needed replacing. You just carried out the work, done to fix the fire damage, and that's it. I am not going to lie to save her. When they ask me, I'll tell them the truth. Why? Just hang on. Hold our nerve. We just stick to the same story, right? Then nobody has to come for this. Nobody. <laughs> We're like one of them mad old black and white movies. Buster Keaton. <laughs> yeah, him, heavy with the eyeliner. Mm, that bit where the house falls down and he stood where the wind is supposed to be. Not a scratch on him. A few centimetres either way and I would have been a goner. Honestly, I feel like a new woman. Joie de vie, that's what that is. Come again? Full of the joy of life. It's French. Exactly. I feel like, I don't know, like I've been given this second chance. Like a, a fresh start. Mm. So does Jesus want you for a zombie? Mm -hmm. We are so lucky, Abby. It's amazing. Nobody got seriously hurt. These look well thumbed. Please tell me you didn't nick them from another patient. Sally Metcalf, I am deeply offended. I took those out of the bin in A&E. Right, I'm off to the shop. Do you want help? Oh, do you know I could murder a fruity lollipop or some boiled sweets? The air in here is so dry. Timothy. I'll come with you. I'll tell you, do us a favour. Mm -hmm. Stick them in a bin, will you? They're probably heaving with germs. I didn't know whether to come or not. I didn't want to intrude. I've already told you, you're very welcome. I'm so sorry for your loss. I know what it's like to lose a child. I understand you were with her when she took her last breath. Was she in pain? The paramedics were there. They'd given her something. Did she say anything? We said our vows. I know you still don't approve of me. But we're in the same boat now, you and me. We both love Bran and we both lost her. Please don't. Don't compare the love I have for her, her mother's love, with what you had. Come, come on now. You don't have to be enemies. I haven't got the strength to be anyone's enemy. She was so pleased when you gave her that bracelet. It meant the world to her. <laughs> Your man said you would come round to that of us getting married. You just needed a little time. We even talked about postponing the wedding. I wish you had postponed, and then none of this would have happened. I'm sorry. I think I should go. Listen, man. Nobody's going to blame you. Nobody. Are you kidding? People are already gossiping about me, and the police are sniffing around. Well, so what? They can't prove whether you knew about the roof or not. And let's face it, half that roof is on the floor. No, I don't care what you say. I am not going to lie. No, you're forgetting that Rana died because of this. And all we're bothered about covering our own backs. Oh, right, oh, I don't. I'm just trying to protect Carla, that's all. You know what I'm saying. You do the same for Sarah, so don't... Why don't we just keep this nice and simple? We blame it on Pat Feely. He was the last one to carry out any major work up there. It replaced the entire roof. So let's say you never told Carla about the roof. She never ignored your advice. Okay? Never happened. We can't. Why not? That's a simple solution, isn't it? We just point the finger at Pat Phelan. It's not like he can defend himself, is it? Forget it. I told you 
absolutely gutted about what's happened. I don't know where to put myself. This puts everything into perspective. I thought the worst thing I had to worry about was my job. Yeah, I know. Now look at me. No job, no money, no idea what's going to happen with the factory. Well, at least we're still here to fight another day. I mean, what could cause her to just fall like that? I mean, Sally's not even hefty, is she? Someone will have hell to pay for this, you mark my words. I don't want to stick my nebbing or anything. Would you think it'd be wrong of me to ask Mrs Connor what's going to happen with the factory? I think it would be uh, somewhat odious. Odious? As in, like, a bad smell? As in, distasteful. Uh, and it could seem self-serving. I am very sorry about what's happened. But you can't blame me for needing to know. I've still got rent to pay, bills and what have you. Rana lost her life. Carla's devastated by all accounts. I don't know if she's going to have the art to open that factory ever again. Sal. Sally. What are you doing here? How are you feeling? Do you remember what happened? Of course I do. I've not lost my mind. We have been an idiot as per. Charming. Your near-death experience hasn't made you any nicer, then. So good to see you, Sal. When I saw you lying there, I thought it was good night, Vienna. Yeah, we should know by now. You don't get rid of me that easily. <sighs> anyway, calling me an idiot. You weren't so flipping clever yourself. You were on standing on that roof when it gave way. Yeah, and whose fault was that? Yours! Didn't drag you up there by your hair. <sighs> oh, I can't believe you walked away without a scratch. Talk about luck of the devil. I know. Someone up there must love me, eh? <laughs> ah, shocking. Underworld's pretty much destroyed. Thank God everyone got out alive. It's a miracle. Has no one told you about Rana? Rana? She's dead. What? No. What's she been doing in the underworld? I told you to stay away. What have you said to her? Tim, why didn't you tell me about Rana? <sighs> Gary's refusing to play ball. What did you ask him to do? I just asked him to keep his trap shut. I'm going to do that as he, he's getting to loads of trouble. Besides, he owes me nothing. If we get on top of this, you could both swerve the blame. I told him we should point the finger at Pat Freeman. <sighs> look, his name's going to come up anyway. And it's not like we're wrecking his reputation, is it? Peter, look, thank you for trying, but it's too late anyway. The police want to interview me. <sighs> look, it's time to fess up, OK? It's time to take what's coming. But hang, just hang on. Look, that makes no sense. You being banged up, love, it's, that's not going to bring Rana back. No, but it will bring justice for Kate and Rana's family. But what good would it do them, really? If you keep quiet, you're protecting your family from a truth that will break their hearts. Just do the decent thing. Take on the burden, carry the hurt, keep it away from Kate and Imran. But it's, it's, it's not going to happen anyway, isn't it? He's not going to lie for me. You've already said that. Every man has his price. There we are. Thank you. Is there anything else I can get you? You don't recognise me, do you? There's no reason why you should. Our paths first crossed over 18 years ago. Well, surely you, you would have been a child then. You and Haley were very kind to me. I've never forgotten you. Is it Wayne? I can't believe you, you're here. So, so what, what's brought you back to this neck of the woods? Look, you're wasting your time. I've said what I'm going to say. Oh, I haven't. Don't want any trouble. I know your business is on its knees. Come on, is that the best you've got? Throwing insults at me? Not at all, Gary. I'm trying to help. Yeah, right. You keep your trap shut about telling Carla the factory roof needs to be like I'll give you ten grand in cash. Say yes, all your money worries go away. If I say yes, if, how soon can you pay me? 
Very soon. Well, when? Today, tomorrow, next year? Look, Gary, hang on. Do I look like a bloke who walks around with ten grand in his pocket? So when? You know, it's a big deal that you're asking me to lie to the police. When I sell the boat? Well, that could be months or... No, no, it won't. I've got a bloke who's got his eye on it. One phone call to him. Fine, Bob's your uncle. So are we cool with all that? Are we cool about what? I'll be in touch. Gary, is he trying to blame you? No, no. No, he's trying to bribe me. Are you joking? Nope. He's offered me ten grand to cover for Carla. What are you talking about? Peter, you better go before I call the police. This place looks the same. So do you come to that? I, well, I was born middle-aged, so my mother used to say. I've often thought of you over the years. I wonder what you were up to. I'm going to be working in the area, so I thought I'd take a chance, call in. For, forgive me for not recognising you. I should have known you straight away. You were very dear to Haley and me. It was a revelation staying with you. I, I felt we got it wrong and we let you down. No. You gave me hope. When I lived here, I, I had this glimpse of another life. You were kind, hardworking, decent. And you made me see that I could make a life for myself too. So, where is she? My temporary mum. Can't wait to see her. I can't stop thinking about Rana. Her poor family. Still don't get why he didn't tell me. Because I'm worried about you, love. I don't want to get you stressed out. Tim! Sorry, I know that sounds a bit harsh, but you're my priority now, love. I just need to get you home where I can take care of you. What were me and Gina doing, messing about on that roof? Well, that's typical Gina, isn't it? Causing trouble wherever she goes. No, I was just as bad. You need to get some sleep now, love. You look done in. I can't stop thinking about that moment when the roof came down. What if it's my fault? Well, you need to get that thought out of your head. The roof should be strong and rock solid. Well, I know, but it can't help, can it? Two women running around on it. Come on, Sally, stop worrying, eh? Get some sleep now. <sighs> hey. Roy, let me in. Hope that's OK. Yeah, of course. Sorry if I woke you. Go. Must be a fine thing. I'm not stuck to wink. Same here. <sighs> She's still in shock. Well, we all are. She's missing her sister. I thought I'd come over later, you know, once I've done my interview. Hmm. Well, Michelle's with her now. Didn't want to leave her alone. been to the factory today. I can't face it. Heartbreaking. See it destroyed like that. After all the hard work you and Aidan put in. Do you want a cup of tea? Uh, uh, no, thanks. Just wanted to see you. Make sure you're OK. I'm fine. Well, good luck with your interview today. Hope that something comes to light that makes sense of all this. And uh, I'll tell Kate you'll definitely see you later, yeah? Yep, definitely. Then go for family. I don't know what any of us would do without it, eh? I am so sorry. If I'd have known, I would have come sooner. She was so lovely. A real one-off. <laughs> she was indeed. How did you cope? I hope you had good people around you, supporting you. Well, our friends, Fizz and Tyrone, they were very supportive. I and Carla. Yes. Haley and Carla were very close. She was a great comfort to me. 
Still is. You don't mean in a romantic way? No, 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 it, no, it's no, it's, it's that's, that's as if we're, we're, we're a different species. <laughs> yeah, though uh, I have come to rely on her somewhat, and she on me. She, she, she's living with me now. It sounds like a good, solid friendship. Yes, it is. Though it has become somewhat strained of late. I'm sorry to hear that. My world would be a much sadder place if Carl O'Connor wasn't part of it. I don't want to impose, but can I ask you something? Go on. They say if it's inconvenient, but I was wondering if I could see the flat again. I shouldn't have asked. It's just, I have such fond memories of the place and we had such happy times together. I'm sorry to say, but happiness has been in short supply lately. Victoria, I told you I'm not up to see you. What are you doing hiding away in here when we should be attending to Rana? This is urgent. You haven't even told me which hospital she's at. Weatherfield General. Well, we need to start planning the funeral. There's a lot to do before tomorrow. She's having a Western funeral, so there's no rush. She's having a Muslim burial. You are such a hypocrite. Imran. You're only doing this because that's what's expected of you. What's that supposed to mean? Why would you celebrate her life now? You hated who she was. You're Rana's family. You've got to try and find a way through this. We need to wash her body and talk to the imam. You are still trying to inflict your beliefs on her. I'm telling you now, there is no way she is having an Islamic funeral. And I hate lying to Johnny. You know, it's like I'm pretending to be somebody that I'm not. He thinks we're all on the same side here. Just stop, and I don't mean to sound harsh here, but you really need to get a grip of yourself. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm falling apart. You know, being responsible for somebody else's death can kind of do that to you. do I have to say? It's not your fault, right? You're not responsible. I should never have come back to this street. Well, your family and friends, right? They would, and me, would beg to differ on that. I've already let Aiden down. Now I've ruined Kate's life. I'm just like, I'm a kiss of death. Carla, just listen to me, OK? If you can keep your head here, I promise you, everything is going to be fine. How? Oh, actually, I don't want to know that. What are you even doing here, Peter? Sorry, I... I... No, I mean, you were running away. Well, I love you. You were off to start your shining new life. I mean, if I were you, I'd get going well, now. Well, you can forget it, because I'll tell you this, I'm not going anywhere. Well, you told me. You said... If you stayed with me, it'd kill you. Yeah, all right, well, so I exaggerate. No, don't make light of it, Peter. You told me I was as dangerous to you as alcohol. I was deluding myself that I thought I could ever live without you. OK? I'm staying because it's what I want. You're what I want. You, you must be mad. You must be mad I will get going now before it hits the fan. Look, listen to me. We can contain this, right? I'm going to sell the boat. I'm going to bum Gary ten grand to keep his gob shut. I know he knocked me back, but I've had a word with Nick and he's going to put the pressure on him. Peter, that is bribery. That's bribery. If, if that came out, you'd all be banged up. Listen to me. Just... This is the only way. Trust me. Look. Look. Come here. I love you, OK? I love you. And I love that you care so much about me. You'd stick out your neck like this. But I am not letting you get in trouble for me, all right? Don't worry about me. Come in. Oh, uh, sorry. I thought you were still in bed. It's all right, right. It's your flat. Yeah. I I'd like you to meet an old friend of mine, Wayne. The, 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 Wayne, this is Carla. Hey. And uh, this is Carla's... Uh, this is Peter. Hey. Haley and I uh, looked after Wayne for a short while, many months ago. So tell me, is, is this how you remember it? Right, uh, I'm glad I caught you. 
Yeah, I bet you are. Just going to the station to give my statement. All right, word of advice. Take Peter's offer. You have got to be joking. You're telling him to take a bribe. I see Peter's got you doing his dirty work for him now. Like we told him, no, I'll tell you exactly the same. Why should he incriminate himself to save her skin? He's telling the truth. <laughs> Do you realise when you're protecting him, you're dropping me in it? No, no. I'm not at all. He's been dealing with Carla. It's got nothing to do with you. Uh, Carla's my business partner, so if she goes down, so do I. Anyway, she's not the only one to have made a mistake. And what do you mean by that? OK, you should have told me that the roof was so dangerous, so urgent. You know, you should have made me understand. No, you were sorting out the barber, so I told Carla, because she's the one that asked me okay, about it. OK, the judges aren't going to see it like that, are they? They're going to see three people who knew and did nothing about it. There's nothing that Gary could have done about it. Yeah, I'm just a builder. I don't make the decisions. I'm just a builder. I don't make the decisions. What? Come on, your reputation's shot. Right. <laughs> uh, look, we just need to stick together, OK? And we'll get through this. The truth will come out sooner or later. Right. Well, we control it, OK? Why don't you just go to your interview? Keep it light and polite. Feign ignorance and take ten grand for your trouble. It's bribery. If they find out, you could go to prison. I'm sorry, Nick, the answer is no. You feeling better now you've had a little rest? Sophie just wanted a quick word, is that all right? Hi, uh, I didn't want to intrude, I just, I just wanted to give you this. That's really kind of you. You know, I've been thinking about you. We all have. How's your mum? Yeah, she's got a, a few broken bones, but she'll be fine. Someone said she was up on the roof. Yeah, having an argument with Gina. On the roof? They was putting a banner up there or something. All right. I better go and see him, man. Yeah, give him my love. I will. See ya. Bye, Sophie. <sighs> I've no idea how Kate's going to get through the next few days. I wish Sarah wouldn't blame her. It's not going to help. No, like Kate hasn't got enough to cope with. Well, I've no room to talk. I was the same when Aiden died. Poor old Eva, cut for the lot. So did you. Well, it's, it's what do you call it? Displacement. Hating someone is easier than coping with all that grief. But Sarah's not stupid. I mean, she might not like it, but she knows Kate and Rana thought the world of each other. Well, I hope they can get over the differences. Give Rana the send off she deserves. You still here? Come on, love, you know you're going to have to discuss the funeral. You know full well there are things that need to be done as soon as her body's released. We've done nothing. We have been over this. She wouldn't want anything traditional. I disagree. When she died, she was on her way to a non-religious gay wedding. A wedding you refused to attend. Hello? Hey, it's me. OK, hi. Um, sorry, we're just a bit tied up with something. Hi, Kate. Come up. I'd rather not see her if you don't mind. Of course. Come up. She could have come back later. If you don't want to see her, leave. I'm warning you. If you start on her, I will throw you on myself. Hey, you okay? There she is. <laughs> the love of Rana's life. The person who knew my sister better than anyone. Thank you, Mr. Windus. We'll be in touch. Don't worry, you're in the clear. There's Peter keeping a low profile, is he? Trying to avoid payday. I actually told him not to come. Don't worry, you'll get your money. Carla Connor. Hello. 
I'm Wayne Hayes, Health and Safety Inspector. We all want the best for her. Celebrate her life. I'm her mom. I should decide, and I'm saying I want her to have a Muslim funeral. It is not your decision. She would have been married by now. Kate would have been her next of kin. Yes, well, she didn't marry, did she? So that counts for nothing. I'm sure you didn't mean that. They were very much in love. This is the last thing I can do for my daughter. The last time I can show her I love her. You are doing this for yourself. To save face in the community. You're wrong. I truly believe she would have wanted a traditional funeral. This is for her, not me. Kate, come on, you can't be okay with this. Say something. Kate! Imran, you can't force her. Just... I think your mum's right. No, 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 no. Do not let her Look, bully her. Imran wasn't devout, but she did believe. And when she was going through a tough time, she turned to her face. That, that, that means nothing. Rana would have wanted a traditional service. I honestly, truly believe it's the right thing to do. So to be clear, you're here as a witness. I understand you were having some work done on the roof by a local builder, Gary Windass. Gary, yeah, that's right. Do you have a specification for the work he was carrying out? But he was just doing some small repairs on the front of the building. He had no reason to, to look at the rest. So he was repairing the damage caused by the fire? Yeah. And you had no cause for concern about the condition of the rest of the roof? Well, no. I mean, it's not that long since I've had the whole thing replaced, you know. Patrick Feeland did it. I'd like to ask you about the business. We heard that staff were about to be made redundant, is that correct? <laughs> some of them, maybe. Possibly. Why is that? Underworld in trouble? No, not exactly. I just... I don't know. I suppose I was wanting to make things work. Why? What are you been playing? Oh, we're just trying to get to the facts, Mrs Connor. Rana Habib lost her life. Others were injured. I'm sure I don't have to tell you how serious this is. been ages. So what did you tell him? I'll take it you lied then. I did what Nick and Peter asked me to. Oh my God. I can't believe you'd be so stupid. You know that if they found out the truth, you're finished. Well, they won't, because we're the only ones that know. Do you realise how sick this is? Everyone's too busy trying to save their own skin, no thought no, I'm about... doing this to protect Nick! You know, I took a serious risk today for Nick, for you. For you and your family, so you should be thanking me, not having a go at me. I'm sorry, I, I am ungrateful, I'm scared. It'll be fine. You're not going to take that money from Peter, though, are you? Well, why not? We need it. Yes, I know, I know what you're saying, but it, it just, it feels wrong taking advantage of this terrible situation. It would, the money would feel tainted. Well, you know what, I've stuck my neck out today, so I feel like I've earned it. Well, apart from anything else, I think it'd be too risky. It's a bribe. Yeah, it'd all be in cash, no one will ever know. Promise me you'll say no. Peter, they knew I was lying. Just stop, OK? Just stop being paranoid. Of course they didn't. What if that health and safety bloke, Wayne, heard us arguing before about bribing Gary? Look, they've got absolutely nothing on you, OK? All we need to do here is just we keep our cool and we wait for all this just to blow over. <gasps> oh, my nerves are shut. Oh, over the next couple of days, you just take it easy and just keep your head down. Oh, easier said than done, Peter. I'm going to hit the road tonight. What? No... You can't leave me. No, oh, look, the sooner I sell the boat, the sooner Gary gets that ten grand in his grubby hands, OK? Well, I'm coming with you. Look, hang on, I'm... I'm not sure that's a great idea, OK? They've not buried Rani yet, and I'm just saying it might just look a bit like you're running away. Peter, I'm serious. I can't do this on my own. OK, all right, OK. Well, at least... At least go and see Kate before you go. I'm not going to look at her in the eye. It's not too late to tell the truth. I'm worried this is going to come back to bite you. It's going to be fine as long as we hold it together, OK?
Who's that? Health and safety. Mom, I just want to go home. Every time I look at that factory, I think about what I'm going to Hello, Sarah. Hi. Um, how's Sally? Yeah, she's all right. She's counting her blessings. She was lucky, wasn't she? So have you had out? As in? As in why the roof collapsed? Not yet, no. But you've been up there a fair few times. Meaning what? Meaning have you seen anything or any damage or whatever? I think you were just working on the front bit, weren't you? Well, there's talk of it being down to feeling. No way. Apparently he was the last one to work up there, so... Roy, what were you thinking, bringing a health and safety inspector round here for a snoop? I'm sorry, I haven't a clue as to what you're talking about. Your mate Wayne, he's investigating the factory. I had no idea. Well, there you go, then. See what he's done? He's pulled the wool over all our eyes, hasn't he? I'm sure he wouldn't have an ulterior motive for coming into my home. It's probably just a coincidence. Yes, and it doesn't matter now anyway, does it? I mean, it's not like we've got anything to hide. Carla, I've told you, there's no need to pack your things. You must stay here as long as you wish. We're going away for a few days, OK? So the car's fixed and we're ready to go. Well, I, I don't think that is a good idea. Carla has responsibilities here. Her family and the investigation. We're not fleeing the country, Roy. And I've cleared this with the police, OK? So you don't need to worry about it, Chief. Yeah. Just need a few days, Roy. I just... I feel like I'm drowning. You must do what you feel fit. And I hope it helps. You know where I am if you need me. Hard to believe today was supposed to be the start of our new life together. Married, happy. I know it's not fair. And instead, I'm helping to plan a funeral. I don't know how I'm going to get through tomorrow. We'll all be there to support you. Where's Carla? Uh, she said she'd come round. As soon as she's done her interview. Once we get back, all this will be done and dusted. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Carla, straight to voicemail. She must have lost her phone. Yeah, well, she was supposed to come over here yesterday after her interview. Well, she'll be here. Yeah, yeah, I know she will. Well, maybe she won't. What does that mean? So, so sorry, but I just felt like I needed to escape for a while. Look after Kate for me. She's not thinking straight. I'm calling her Johnny, again. Johnny, we can't force her to come back, love. How can she leave Kate today, of all days? Hey. I've got you. Yeah. Yeah, sweetheart. With bells on. It is such a pleasure having you around. I only regret it's under such unfortunate circumstances. Sorry I didn't tell you why I was here straight away. I understand there is confidentiality in your line of work. But uh, I have to admit, I, I was surprised. It's a small world. Indeed, yes. So the uh, investigation is going well. <clears throat> as well as it can be. Do you have any idea yet well, what caused the roof to collapse? Can't really say. But rest assured, I'm on the case. There, there was fire damage to the factory. I wonder if that might have weakened anything. As I say, I can't. Yeah, of course, yes. But I, I have to confess that the the fire that caused the damage was due to my actions. Roy, stop stressing. I knew that already. Oh, really? All I can say is you don't have anything to worry about. Oh, well, that, that, that's a relief. It's been such a difficult time. 
particularly for Carla. Perhaps she was very wise going away. I saw her in a car with Peter Barlow, but I didn't know she'd gone on holiday. Just taken a few days. That's not a problem. No, not at all. Listen, you have stuff to do, so how's about a pint later on my break? Well, I'll stick to fruit juice, but yes, that, that would be very pleasant. Can I um, get two teas, please? Certainly. Coming up. Didn't realise that you two were friends, Roy. Oh, yes. I had known Wayne since he was a teenager. Hayley and I, we'd we, we looked after him for a while. Wayne? Oh, I didn't click. Yeah, because, of course, him and Davy were, like, thick as thieves for a bit. Yes, he, he, he was a very good lad, and he's, he's turned into a decent man. It's a bit of a coincidence, though, no? Him investigating the factory. Pleasant one, though. Yeah. I'm always appreciative of change for the till. So come on, then you got any bright ideas? Um, no, not yet. Look, I know, I'm whisking. But we'll figure something out, and it's not going to be anything. It's illegal. Yeah, the fact is, is that you ain't got a job. And my work there is pretty empty, and I've got Jake and Zach to think yes, about. I know that. So unless you've grown a money tree, I don't know what you think right, we're going to okay, do. OK, I'll have a word and see if I can get a few extra hours at the Ravens. No, a few hours minimum wage ain't going to cut it. Would it be so bad if I took Peter's money? Yes! And what if I just did it anyway, oh. regardless of what you oh. said? Oh, I would say, have a nice single life. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna go back to the flat. Well, I can go and get whatever you need. I'm not an invalid. I can go back to my own home. Sorry. It's OK. You snap all you like. I need to see Imran, too. Thank you for trying to help. OK. How are you doing? Sorry, stupid question. Uh, no, I'm, I'm really pleased you're here, actually. I wanted to talk to you about the puzzle. What about it? I know it's usually female relatives, and I know I'm not Muslim, but do you think I might be able to be there? What's this? Uh, washing the body before the funeral. Well, of course you can be there. I don't know. I don't think you can, if I'm honest. Well, you don't ask, you don't get. Rana would want you there. <laughs> I know I won't be introduced as Rana's partner. I should be wife. No, I know, but I'm not, am I? Not in their eyes. Look, none of that should matter. None of that's important. Well, it, it is if it upsets you. No, all that matters is that we have a day to celebrate everything that Rana was. I'm not important. She'd hate all this. The formality. And she'd be like, oh, wear purple, have a shot. Well, we can do that after. It just feels wrong. Hello? Oh, hi, come on. It's Kate. No, it feels wrong because it is. And you're right, you know, Ryan would want us to celebrate a life. Exactly. And we're not doing that by having this farce my mother's sorted. But we both lost Rana too. So how come my mother gets to dictate how we say goodbye? You should have said no. Rana's faith is still a part of her. It's important that your mum gets to say goodbye as well. She's lost her daughter. She wasn't even going to come to your wedding. That's how much she cared about her daughter. When she gave Rana her jewellery, that was her way of giving her blessing. It is not enough. She broke Rana's heart, Trina, the way she did. Look, Rana wouldn't want you and your mum at odds. Today is about the amazing woman that we knew. We have to say goodbye with dignity. But I promise you it'll be okay. But we have to take care of each other. Hi, it's Lyra. It's your mum. I saw Alia. She told me Rana's funeral is today. These are from me and Cathy. That's lovely. Thank you, Brian. Our love and thoughts are with you all today. Thanks. She was a wonderful girl. A woman. She will be missed. You know something, ma'am? You know when I had to tell Kate about Rana? 
told her she wasn't going to be okay. It was horrible. It was uh, horrible knowing that you are breaking someone's heart. Yeah. Yeah, I know, darling. But you had to tell her, didn't you? And you did everything you could to save her. I, I, I would have fallen to pieces, but you kept it together. You were brilliant. I don't know. You just feel useless at a time like this, don't you? Yeah, well, you were far from useless. You risked your life trying to save her. You were a real hero in that factory. <laughs> yeah, you reckon? Hey, I second that. See? It's what you do. You help people. Yeah, well, cheers. I'm gonna go. Too late. See you, darling. He's a good lad. Yeah, he is. I just wish he thought so and all. Hey, thanks for helping out, Shell. You know, you'd think I'd hate being behind this bar, wouldn't you? Too much history and all that, but I miss it, you know. Oh, well, that's handy because, well, we were wondering if you might be able to help out on a more regular basis. Well, I mean, it's all still up in the air with the bistro, but if you give me enough notice. Well, well, an hour do, because I, I was hoping that you might be able to hold the fort today while we go to the funeral. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd get cover. Well, where's Robert? I don't know. And after how he's been, I don't care. Not seen him since he lashed the bistro keys at me. But he knows about the factory, though. Maybe he's not that bothered. I don't know. But it's none of my business anymore what he does, is it? She was such a cheeky little girl growing up. So smart and quick-witted. Just feels wrong she's not here. It is. She was my baby. And I don't know how I'm gonna cope. You're a strong woman, Sarah. <laughs> Just like Rana was. There were times my daughter knew weakness, believe me. But I appreciate the sentiment. Thank you. I can't stay long. I just came to check on how you were doing. We all need to look after each other today. I'm going to meet with the aunts and cousins for Rana's guzzle. Then I'll head to the community centre for press. Sarah, I was wondering, I know it's probably not allowed, but would you mind if I came to the guzzle too? You're right, I'm afraid. It's not allowed. What if you made an exception? You know, if Kate covered her hair, dressed appropriately? You know, it's not allowed. I don't mean to sound cold-hearted, but you just can't come. It's OK. It's just an idea. I'll see you all at the community centre later. Or maybe you'd like to remember Rana your own way today, at home. You better not be serious. Sarah, you need to think about what you're saying. Rana loved Kate more than anyone else in the world, and you are banning her from the one part of the funeral she can actually go to. Yeah, Kate has to be there. I'm not banning her. I'm just saying it might be best if she wasn't there. That'd be the only reason that we are having the gossip and the prayers the way you want it is because of her. If she'd refused, we would have planned all of this the way that we wanted to. And I appreciate that. So what, you show your appreciation by stopping her from coming? I'm just trying to avoid an awkward situation for all of us, including Kate. I will tell you what's awkward. You telling your own daughter that you wanted nothing to do with her, and then playing the devastated mother now that she's gone. You have no idea how much I regret what happened between me and Rana. I have to live with that forever. But let's just talk about this properly, OK? Everyone's upset. Look, this is out of order. And what do you think your aunt Hallamay is going to say when, when Kate shows up? You know how she likes to gossip? So let her. Kate deserves to be there. Kate, listen to me. I'm thinking of you. Do you really want people looking and whispering about you, making you feel ashamed to be there? I suppose not, no. I'm sorry, Kate. 
I think it's best you stay away. No. Honestly, it's okay. I will. I can't do this. You more than anyone deserve to say goodbye to Rana today. It's okay. No, it's not. It's not fair on you. I don't matter. Your mum's right. Today is to remember Rana, and if me being there is gonna ruin that, then I should just stay away. No, she's full of it. She's grieving. So are you, Kate. We all are. She needs to say goodbye, and she doesn't want people talking, I get it. It's better if I'm not there. I want you there. So would Rana. Hey, I was hoping I could read this. I could just take it. Just have something in me there. What is it? You can open it later. Oh, it should be there. Just take it, please. No, if you're not going, then neither am I. We can't let her do this. Forget about your mum and everyone else. You need to walk in there and say goodbye to your sister properly. Don't have any regrets. Living it up on Costa del Sol with a new bloke. And he's a decent man, is he? It's nothing like Alex Swinton, if that's what you mean. Mum's really happy. Very good. We still talk about you and Ailey, you know. Me and Mum. About how different my life would be if I'd never met you two. I, I'm just pleased we were able to help you make a fresh start. Well, now look at you. I just wish that Haley was here to see what a successful, confident young man you've become. Still can't believe she isn't. Well, life is full of surprises, the good and the uh, devastating. But you turning up here is, is definitely a positive one. It's great to see you again. Day drinking, eh, gents? I'm afraid I didn't get the memo. This is a tomato juice. Uh, one of your five a day, so good on you, Mr. Cropper. Uh, I was hoping I'd uh, run into you. I'm afraid I've come to a slight dead end in regards to the our ring conundrum. <clears throat> As have I, I'm afraid. What's this? And you are? Oh, uh, uh, Brian Wayne, old friend of mine. We go way back. Roy saved me and my mum. He's my hero. Ah, oh, well, any fan of Roy's is a friend of mine. What's this conundrum, then? Well, I inherited a, a rather rare, unusual ring from my late mother. And together, we're trying to solve the mystery of its history. And it's a puzzle which we found particularly challenging. Well, I love puzzles. I used to spend hours on those bait bean jigsaws. Oh, I fear it's unlikely you'll uncover anything our two brains haven't already. <laughs> but it's always worth a try. Love to have a look. Well, wonderful, does it? Well, the ring currently resides in a drawer in the flat. There's no time like the present, then, eh? Oh. Oh. Thank you. It doesn't matter what that woman says, you should be there. That woman is Rana's mum. Please, just do what I'm asking. And leave you on your own? No way. No, I'll be OK. You both should go to the funeral. We can't go without you, love. Why is no one listening to me? I don't want to make today any worse than it already is. You both should go. Please, Dad. I'm going to do my own thing, Verana. Celebrate her life, who she really was. It's not fair on you. I'm OK. I promise. Of course she's not OK. She's not facing up to any of it. When I lost my tongue, I didn't accept it. And it wasn't a brave face people were seeing. It was the face of a woman who was numb, lost, and broken, to be honest. I know what that feels like. We need to be there for Kate. <laughs> Peter, what are you playing at? You can't just do a runner. I want that money. Maybe I should pay my respects uh, to Rana. I don't 
don't think that's a great idea. No, I agree with you. You've got to take it easy. I can't imagine Kate's up for seeing you after what you did. Please don't start with that. None of this is Sally's fault. Yeah, I'm not saying it was, but we're burying Rana this afternoon and seeing you up and about isn't what Kate needs. I'm so sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry for, love. Listen, I know that you're grieving Rana, but that roof collapsed because it was unsafe. Which wasn't helped by people standing on it. She's right. No, she isn't. I'm not having you being blamed. You're doing enough of that yourself. Just stay away from Kate, all right? I'm so sorry for what happened to Rana. Yeah, so am I. Hey, are you all right? How can I be? What's the point in having a mobile phone if you're not going to answer it? Why do you keep calling when it's clear I don't want to speak to you? I was worried you weren't going to come. You sure I'm allowed? Don't be silly. Of course you should be there. Come on, I've got a car waiting. I'll make my own way. Imran, please. Can we say goodbye to Rana together? As a family? I'm sorry about Kate, honestly. No. You know. People won't understand. They'll be cruel. So, let them. Kate loved Rana. Just like I loved Toya. And you loved Dad. That's not exactly the same. It is, and you know it. But what if someone had told you that you weren't allowed to say goodbye to Dad? That you were to sit there, at home, alone, whilst we prayed for him, and we said our final goodbyes. He was your soulmate, Mum. How would you have felt if you weren't allowed any of that? I've been with your father my entire adult life. It doesn't matter. Kate and Rana would have spent their entire lives together. That's what they should have had. And now that's been cut short, and Kate has to carry on alone. She's strong. No, Mum, she's heartbroken. Read it if you don't believe me. Well, Mum's looking after the pub and Robert's MIA, so I'm lucky one to open up the bistro. Ooh, you sure you can handle the responsibility? Ah, of course. Stepping up, aren't I, helping Mum out? Hey, I'm worried about her, you know. Yeah? Yeah, she's under so much stress, man. I suppose you want to lend hand out, do you? <sighs> yeah, I can do, yeah. This will be the last time, though. As of next week, the only time you'll be seeing me is if you break your arm. Hey? Right? Yeah, well, rang my old boss, gonna start back at the hospital. About time. Yeah, well, she was quite chuffed when I said I was going back, actually. She sounds weird. <laughs> Funny. No, hey, it's great, mate. Honestly. Back doing what you're good at? Yeah, apparently so. It's not locked. Bet you said Mum was at the pub all day? She is. Submission. You wouldn't like window cleaner in your eye, would you? Hey. Shh. Anyway, don't be sexist. It could be a woman. Oh, shut up, you idiot. What well, could? Oi, I'm gonna call her, please. Wait, hey, I might need a bit more muscle here. Right, there might be a few of them. Come on. Yeah, okay. Sorry, mate. You're an idiot. Yeah, well, don't listen to the old witch. Just come with us. I can't, Dad. I'll look after her, Johnny. I told you, I'll be OK. Just say goodbye to my girl for me. Come on. I don't want to be late. Kate! <laughs> Kate, come on. Stop the car. Imran, what are you doing? You saw her, Mum. Let's go inside. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Come, come on, on inside. Come on. Come on, you're all right. OK, last chance. Are you really going to stop her from saying goodbye? <laughs> Come on, love, you're all right. I've got you. Just take deep breaths, yeah? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I promised I wouldn't cry. You 
do whatever you need to. It's you one. Haven't you upset her enough for one day? I read your letter. That was private. I showed it to her. Losing Aidan was like losing a limb. But losing you feels like my heart's been ripped out. I wonder if it'll ever be the same again. It's very moving. It's how I feel about her son. Well, I loved Rana. I can see that. I loved her too. I may not have always shown it, but from the moment she was born, she was my beautiful baby girl. You should be there. What? I didn't always do right by Rana when she was alive. But I know she would want you there today. Please. What are you doing, you pair of muppets? Why is this place closed, anyway? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, now he's bothered about this place. Oi, we're not muppets either. And where the hell have you been? Yeah. who has been trying to ring you. Yeah, well, I don't have to answer to her anymore, do I? Well, that's super cold, mate. Wait a minute. You haven't even heard what's happened, have you? What's, what's happened? There's been an accident at the factory. The roof collapsed. But there were some injuries and one fatality. Who? Rana. No, it can't be. It can't be Rana. She, she, she's, she's getting married. She, she yeah. can't get married. You know, it was the wedding day. I mean, you must think I'm some sort of idiot now that you... You just would also start dancing and I forget that you want me money. No, of course not. But leaving threatening voicemails is not going to make it any quicker, is it, Gary? When will I get my money? I've told you when I saw the boat. But you said that you knew someone I need that money today. I've got a buyer, OK? And he's getting his money together. These things can take time, pal. OK, well, maybe I'll just find myself down at the station changing my statement before then, pal. OK, look, just, just wait a minute, OK? We both want the same things here. I swear I am trying to sell the boat, OK? I'll tell you what, if you don't have the money in a week, I'll come up, I'll drive you to the station yourself. How about that? OK, is that a deal? Right, fine. One week. Could you all make sure your phones are off, please? Thank you. Hey, Sarah, now. Thank you. Rana was family. How are you here? Sarah invited me. <gasps> yeah, my face did that too. Imran must be so relieved. He wasn't happy doing this without you. Zidane's sorry he can't make it. He's in Cairns and couldn't get a flight back. I appreciate you coming. Just been here. We're going to walk around the coffin and pay our respects. Should we say something? Just think about Rana passing on to the next life. How loved she was in this one. Say goodbye. How'd you get in? Practically threw the keys at me when you flounced down. I had a spare. Where have you been? Nowhere. 
Nowhere. Robert, you had a go at Carla. You trashed her car and then disappeared. What were you thinking? I just needed to get away. And why was your phone off? I didn't feel like talking. Oh. Oh, well, brilliant timing. Well, I didn't know this was going to happen, did I? Well, where were you? It's been all over the news. Uh, when... when will Kate be back? I don't know why. I wanted to see her before I go. Go where? I just came back to get some stuff. I'm, I'm going away for a while. Are you seriously going to run off again at a time like this? Would I have even known that you were back if the lads hadn't caught you sneaking around? Do you know what? Do you know what, Robert? I tell you what, you do what you want, all right? Because I haven't got time for this. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. It's the kalmat ayo. A prayer for the testimony of faith. It's beautiful. It's a good turnout, considering Rana was supposed to be an outcast. <laughs> what? Uh, it's actually a privilege to pray for the dead. There'd normally be a lot more people here, especially for someone so young. Hey, what are you doing out here? Escaping. Escaping what? No, no, there's nothing in fine. No, there's no such thing, not today. Just I hate this. I heard two of my uncles talking and they were saying that if only my mum had managed to get Rana to Pakistan then she'd be alive today. That's awful. Wait, you don't agree with them, do you? They're just such hypocrites. They, they pretend to be good and pious Muslims. But they will gossip and Badmouth, my sister, when she can't defend herself anymore. And she would have, and all, defended herself. When we were little, she was always getting into trouble. Eating sweets during Ramadan, giggling during prayers. Then we got older, she drinking, skipping mosque. Well, I bet you were a little angel. <laughs> oh, I was just as bad. Worse, probably. I never got caught. I lied to my parents, to everybody. I never did that. She was up front, unapologetic. I always admired that about her. So do you really think that if she'd gone to Pakistan, she'd have just gone along with whatever your parents had planned? No. No, she'd have fought tooth and nail to get home. But they shouldn't even be here. If they can't see that she had one of the most beautiful souls ever. We are preparing to send her on her final journey into paradise. And how can they do that if they think she's going to hell? Well, you are her brother and you know otherwise. So as long as you're there, then she'll be okay. And this is one last thing you can do for her. That's just what Kate said. <laughs> well, it must be right then. Dad was here. I don't feel right. Everyone looking at me like I'm the head of the family. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I need to get on. Hey. Look, I know I can't come to the burial, but I'll wait for you. Wherever you need me to be, I'll be. Uh, Johnny, 
You couldn't do me a huge favor, could you? Thought I'd stop by and see if I could help them. I don't know what he thinks he can see that we've not. I've studied that ring from every angle. Uh, nevertheless, it doesn't harm to have another set of eyes over it. <clears throat> uh, we're looking through the online library looking for an RP born in Manchester in 1959. <sighs> I don't think that's the right track to follow, if I'm honest with you. Well, I respectfully disagree. Just let him speak, Brian, please. I just think it's a little misguided to get so fixated on the inscription. <laughs> what else can we do? It's our only clue. Not so. We should be tracing where the ring came from. How do you suggest we do that? It's impossible. Actually, I think I've seen a ring like this somewhere before. Stay inside for a bit. They said they'd see us later. I need to get going. I, uh, I could come with you if you want. I, I'm, I mean, I wouldn't know what to do or say, but if you want a bit of support, wouldn't it be good to have someone there who knew the real Rana? I think I'll be able to get through this without my daddy. Well, no, it's not the same as him being here. As far as replacements go, I couldn't do much better, could I? You sure you don't mind? It'd be an honour. See you in a bit. I'll drive us home. Uh, can you... Goodbye to her for me. One last time. Come on, son. Make her proud. Cheers, Taya. No worries. Come on. There's a large gin and tonic waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> Where have you been? I can't believe it. I I've only just heard it. It's just... I know. I'm so sorry. Shall we give him some space? Yeah. We'll, we'll see you in the pub, yeah? Have you seen Michelle? Angry. Yeah, but I deserve it. She'll come round. I'm not sure about that. <sighs> yeah, you said some awful things to each other, but you've got the chance to make it right. I can't ever talk to Rana again. So, so I won't throw it away, okay? There's a definite resemblance to that of my mother's. More importantly, 
it bears the same hallmark. According to this, this ring was made in the 1950s in Egypt. Well, I'm not sure my mother has set foot outside of Lancashire by that point, let alone Egypt. Perhaps it was a gift brought back for her. My father was still with us in 1959, but he wasn't the type to shower her with gifts. Suez! Sorry, but I think I've cracked it. There were British troops stationed in Egypt in 1956 to deal with the Suez Crisis. Ah, uh, Anthony Eden's finest hour. Was that sarcasm I just detected there, Roy? Uh, oh. You should check to see if any local troops were sent to the Suez Crisis. Oh. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, listen, I'm going to have to get back to the pub in a minute. Oh, no, you can't leave, Mum. It's only going to get busier, I, I promise, Johnny. Oh. I thought you were leaving. Looks like I'm needed here. Oh, we've been coping fine without you. you must have spent a fortune on agency shops. <laughs> yeah, when they turn up. Look, why don't I step back in just while you're helping out with the pub? You know, he's the precious I can support Kate and your family a bit more. Why would you do that? Times like this, everyone's got to pull together. It's a guilty conscience talking if I ever heard it. What do you mean by that? You, doing a disappearing act, just as everything goes... No. Well, I'm here now. All right, fine. This doesn't change anything. There you go. Oh. Oh, sorry it took so long. Uh, not at all. Your focus today should absolutely be on Kate. How's she doing? Oh, she's still in shock. She keeps insisting she's fine, but how can she be? Well, while grief is fresh, every attempt to divert only irritates. You must wait till it be digested, and then amusement will dissipate the remains of it. Samuel Johnson, mm. see? What's all this, sir? Yeah, military records from a local library. Ah, the search for RP continues. Carla filled me in. Uh, we think the ring might have been bought uh, in Egypt by a soldier. We have determined that several local regiments were sent there in the 1950s. So now we have to find an RP in the records that tallies with our other information. Which could take a considerable amount of time. Not with the three of us. I'll be around and I'm happy to help. We do make a pretty good team. I think your time would be better spent finding out what happened to my sister. I can assure you, Mr. Habib, that we're doing everything we can to determine what happened. Yeah, uh, come on, love. Sit down. Perhaps we should go somewhere else. No, don't worry. It's, uh, it's been a long day. <sighs> we're not stopping long. I just wanted to check you were both OK. I bet neither of you has eaten all day. I'm not hungry. Of course you're not, but eat anyway. She's right, love, yeah. Got to keep your strength up. I'd rather have another drink. Sounds good to me. Uh, right, um... <clears throat> now that everyone's here, I thought we could, um... do a bit of a toast to Rana. <laughs> to Rana. Beautiful outside and in. She made Kate so happy. My best friend. Headstrong, brave, brilliant. Yeah, she was everyone's favourite nurse at the medical centre. Just warm and caring. Baby sister. My soulmate. Tirana. 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 There you go. Thanks, Cece. Sure. Go. Be with Kate. Me and Ryan have got this now. All right, fine. I'll be back later to sort the taking. So. Okay. Right. Oi. Just keep an eye on him. Why? What's he done? Not him, Robert. Right, well, what am I watching for? I don't know. Anything out of the ordinary. He's been God knows where. He was about to leave again. And what now suddenly is Mr. Considerate? Something's not right. Right, so you want me to spy on him? Call it what you want. We should have stayed in. I'm feeling a bit tired. Listen, we won't stay long, OK? Remember what I said, you've done nothing wrong. Come on. Pint and a white wine, please, Jenny. 
I'll just have a lemonade, please. I'm on medication. <laughs> I can't believe they've got the nerve. Alia, leave it, please. Have you interviewed her yet? Please, this is neither the time nor the place. Just leave us alone, will you, Alia? You had you say earlier. No, I won't leave you alone until you admit what happened. I swear, I did nothing but stand on that roof. You can ask Gina. All right, we shouldn't have been up there, but there's got to be another reason why it all came down. No, I'm sorry, I don't buy it. You must have done something, damaged something. She's done nothing wrong, now back off, will you? I'm sick of you accusing folk of stuff when you haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Sally's right, though, isn't she? How's that? Something must have happened to have caused the roof to be that unstable. I suppose so, yeah. But you didn't see anything. I mean, you were working up there. Well, like I told him, I just dealt with the fire damage, mate. I didn't see the rest of the roof. I'm sorry. Where's your sister? I need to have a word. She's gone away. When? Last night. Why, what are you thinking? Carla was in charge of that factory, and now she's disappeared. She's not disappeared. She's with Peter. That's like everyone's been saying, though, isn't it? Roofs just don't fall down. Someone knows more than they're letting on, and I'm going to find out who. Starting with Carla Connor. 